Welcome, everybody. Nice to see you. Yes, it's true we were gone on Monday, but it doesn't mean that we don't love you. In fact, if anything, it means we love you all even more than you thought. I love pizza. Because to us, bringing the best show possible is about bringing the best versions of ourselves possible. And I love people. And self, self, self-help is self, self-wealth. I just made that up. You're so wise. Pretty good. Um, actually, so today is the second episode of the Batch Thriller, starring Jeff Witter. <laughs> and some would call, some are calling him the most eligible, the most compelling Bachelor contestant in the franchise's history. The most eligibleist. Okay. The most eligibleist. Yeah. And so. Jeff is running behind, which is fine because I want to talk about our weekend. He is, but when he joins us, we have um, 10 wonderful dates lined up with some more. Eh? We will be transporting them to Italia, Italiano, for a fine a meatball and spaghetti. Um, themed after Lady and the Tramp, of course. Um, since the women are not here in person, thank you, Lena. Uh, I will be having, um, I will be filling in for them to, to be the recipient on the other side of the spaghetti noodle. Oh, miss ya. That's right. You'll be kissing. I'm good at kissing dudes. It won't be my first time. But uh, Kiss actually, everyone. it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. And love is in the air. What can I say? You know, spring is almost upon us. And when <laughs> spring is new life. So yes, she, whoever he picks is going to need to get pregnant by the end of the pregnancy or, you know, annulment. That's my, that's what I say. <clears throat> so where were we on Monday? Um, I guess a lot of, I guess we should have posted. I said it a lot on the show, but I get, I mean, not everybody watches every moment of the show. On President's Day, we came to work so that we could take Monday off. Where were we on Monday? The city is in, baby. We had a great trip. Swing. We had a great trip in Vegas. Um, I did, at least. I had so, uh, so much fun. I had a blast. It was, oh, yeah, it was, it was a awesome. great time hanging out with the, with all you guys and just having a really good time. It flew by. Vegas is fun when you go with like people you like. Mm -hmm. which, Definitely is, helps. which I don't usually, well, except for my wife, but I don't really travel with people ever. Oh, that just sounded sad. Should I button that? That's not what I meant. <laughs> Why are you worried about my wife? I just, what I was just trying to say is that it was fun hanging out with you guys. Yeah, I, that's what I got from that. We um, took some heavy losses in Vegas. Who, who ended up up? Not me. I did. I did. <laughs> so, I did too. Yeah. So I did as well. Oh, wow. So I'm going to say this not to um, congratulate myself, although it was pretty nice. But... Um, just to give you context, I gave everybody a thousand dollars cash. Yes, you did. We arrived <laughs> in a rubber band, which we proceeded to blow, so that we could all gamble without the worry of losses. Poor Zachy, last time you took, you had the biggest losses last time, right, Zach? Like six hundred. It was six hundred. Yeah. Damn. So I wanted to make sure I would cover even the most catastrophic of uh, losses. So everyone got a thousand bucks. I, of course, lost everything. You were doing good for a while. It was fun, though. I was fighting for my you life You may have lost there. a little bit more than a thousand. <laughs> I didn't want to talk about the amount. <laughs> mm. I don't want people being like, that amount of money would change my life. And then I have to send everybody money again. Yeah. Money! Okay, fair enough. It was all cash. It wasn't that much more. It was cash. I brought some cash. Everybody got cash. Mm -hmm. It's a company event. It's for enrichment. Who wants me to take their money? So how, how much were you up, baby? How much were all you guys up? Uh, I walked away with... A hundred more, so eleven hundred. Nice, yeah. Lena. I was so proud of you. Thank you. How much did you? What was your total in the end? I think I lost six hundred. I was so proud of the people who <laughs> lost because it's a lot of money to sit on, you know. And I, I, I sense a lot of people didn't want to lose it, fairly so. And I was just so proud of the people that were said, "I'm going to go and I'm going to gamble mm -hmm. and I'm going to lose it all," because that's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. I was down uh, about five hundred. Good for five, you. Five hundo. Good for you. But you came up five. Yeah. 
the I first need night. The box first night. I guess it was yeah, the first night and first half of the second day, I was up significantly. And then, I was up big at one point. And then yeah. that night that you, me, and AB were out real late, that's I lost quite a bit. Oh no. It's quite a bit that night. Yep. I did real I was The book betrayed me, dude. The book is the book is bullshit. You know who I say this. You know who wrote the book? The, the house. casino. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> the book, book is what when you're playing blackjack, there's like it's not really a game of strategy. There's a correct move and a incorrect move in every situation. So you say, should I do this? Then they go, the book says you should do it, meaning you have the best odds to win if you do this. But that bitch is a that bitch. She's a gold digger. Oh yeah. For sure. <laughs> I was doing so good, though. Yeah, the last night, I, my only goal on Saturday or Sunday was to get trashed, which I did do, I'm happy to say. Maybe Ela was not impressed, but I had fun. I'm <laughs> drunk? I wasn't too much, was I? No, I thought no, you were great. hilarious. It was a good time. Yeah. Ela's yeah, like, a little too the neck, a little too much? Maybe. Maybe. Just a little bit. <laughs> but I was having You were fun. out of control. Yeah. Yeah, at, 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 the, at the peak, when you hit the peak. But the it peak, was fun. The peak no, was, it was fun. It was a funny out of control, but yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit out of control. Ela was embarrassed. <laughs> I think the We were peak, having fun. She didn't need to be embarrassed. Well, dude, but. we were waiting in line for the buffet, and you know. That's the moment that I was thinking of, because we were in too. line for the buffet. It was a really busy... Uh, restaurant and the line was like really long, so there's a ton of people around. And Ethan was like screaming. Actually, dude. <laughs> I, I wonder if there's any fans that like <laughs> maybe there, sure there was there yeah. there was a fan that said she saw me, you, and Ela walking into the buffet. That's embarrassing. Yeah, <laughs> you guys don't need to see me like that. Although you do every once a year during the members' live. <laughs> yeah, you right. can imagine it's like that. But I we went and ate, and man, that buffet was it's magic. Bad. We stayed oh at the Win. So good. I didn't know about the Win. But apparently, Nina Max win. Apparently, that's the spot, and it was, dude. Yep, so it was good. Swing. Very, very swanky over there. Win, dude. When you turned the corner and saw the whole buffet, it just like went endless. It, it just was went all the way down. I was trashed. I was trashed, and Ela was guiding me around like um, like a blind leper man. I don't know how to <laughs> describe it. You know what I mean? I was like, oh no, where's he going with this yeah. blind leper? I mean, just okay. you, you can imagine. Yeah, yeah. And I was just feeling stacking motherfucking damn, goddamn. I had to go back. It was crazy. I don't remember anything, but I remember that food. It was so good. Because we so were good. both up a lot before going in the buffet. We were oh, on top I was of the up. world. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I was going on mm -hmm. and on about. Yeah, then we left the buffet and shit went south. It was incredible. At one point, I was down to 25 <laughs> chip. Mm -hmm. Minimum was 25. And I turned that 25, Dan. How much did I turn that into? You turned that to, I think it was like a couple grand, wasn't it? Easily. Yeah. It a like, few thousand. You were having some incredible luck at times. In fact, I saw you get the craziest black hat, blackjack hand I've ever seen. When uh, Oh, the three in a row. You, you got two aces, you split. Yeah. The next card was an ace again, you split again. Mm -hmm. And then did, wasn't even another time? Was there were three hands. Two of them were blackjacks, and the other okay, one was so a 20. Okay, so it was just three. But yeah, Dang. so he got two blackjacks and, and a 20. And unfortunately, that was one of the lowest bets I had placed all night. Right. <laughs> but yeah, and then we came out, and I was feeling lucky, and I lost it all. But it was fun. It was really fun. Yeah. yeah. It's a good time. Anything else anyone want to report on? Uh, How, how'd you do, Mr. Green? Dude, I went crazy one night. I went down alone. I was sitting at the roulette table. Oh yeah, you 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 took money out. You were the only I one. I had to. Was the guy in the casino at four four a.m. Yeah, it was the probably table. I would say one a.m. And I'm like, fuck, I have seven hundred bucks. I'm gonna chase the green. You know, I I only go on green by yourself. Only solo, fully solo. Oh, that's degenerate. Yeah, I like that. It's bad. I was waiting for everyone, and. Um, <laughs> I missed the green for like 20 so, and I'm betting like $15 so every time. The, the green is on the roulette <laughs> wheel. It is the rarest to hit. It's like 1 in 64. It's like the worst. I mean, if you're just trying to like come up, it's like a crazy bet. Yeah. So I like put $1, $100 in, bet 10. On green? No. You spread. I, into the machine. Oh. And then uh, Oh, 10, you're playing on video. 10 each time. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, okay. Put one more in, and I was like, to recoup my money now, I have to bid twenty oh, every no. green. And I was starting to having to bid, bid uh, or juice twenty five each. Uh oh! And I put in seven hundred or something in the machine, 
just draining everything. <laughs> and then, then finally, and I had oh. to use my own money because I was down. The oh, $1,000 no. was out. So I was like, okay, I have a couple hundred bills that was mine from before. Put that shit in and I boom, I hit green. I come up big. Wow. Um, so wait, how much did you win on? You put 25? You won I won up? like $450 back. And then I won. And then Over I went, what you put in? No. So you were still down when you hit green? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. But then I went to played blackjack a little bit at the end of the night. I got three blackjacks in a row. Dude, you don't talk about lucky. This dude, he goes to me, yeah, whenever I need money, I just go bet on green and I win <laughs> yeah. it back. Yeah, unironically, I, I yeah. hate green a lot. <laughs> it's great, it's a good time. I need um, the max win. Um, that's kind of where I, I was, I failed on the blackjack table. I go 50, I lose, I put 100, I put yeah. 200, and then I go, let's go guys, 2,000, and I lose it all. Mm-hmm. It was fun though. Don't ask Good me. Time. So there was also one other great update, AB. Um, he, he's got, I don't know, man. AB, we love you. I love you. Um, he showed up like, as you, what did you say? Um, a Peaky Blinder. No, the guy from. Oh, uh, uh, Simple Jack. Yeah, Simple Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is after you got it fixed though, right? No, no, this is when I did it. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. I was bullied yeah. because I had. You were just trying to look fly for Vegas, right? I was just trying to do a simple lineup around the sides, and then it was uneven. Try to even it. Once you go to a higher. barber, I mean, it was too late. It was, it was too, too late. late. Yeah. So poor AB, his whole first day there, you were just like at the barber shop trying to fix your shit. Yeah, I found a barber that <laughs> took care of it for me the best he could. This is another photo AB sent. This is me trash. I'm sure this is the line of the buffet, right? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I can't wait to go back with you guys. It was really yeah, such a fun time. It really was. We saw the love show. Hey, Jeff's here. Um, you want to come? You want to come sit? <laughs> yeah, we we were just talking about our trip. Yeah. The Bachelor is here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we did the. We went to the love show, the Cirque di Circus Olay. Circus Olay. Um, and I'll tell you what, it was oh, fun, damn. it was fun, but looking skinnier every week. Am I really? I gained weight this weekend. No, no doubt. No Maybe doubt. Maybe shirt. No, was, skinny, we went to Vegas. Brother. I gained four pounds in two days. How's that even possible? I went Don't worry about the scale. It's about how you feel. I live and die by the scale, literally. You got two sodies, huh? You feel nervous? I brought one just in case for you. Thanks, buddy. You I know? Oh, I already have one. I'll we got from three. the can, though. We're going crazy today. Cheers, buddy. To love. Fuck, man. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm good. late. Don't worry about it. I could never complain about anyone being late. <laughs> well, to be honest, the girls aren't even here, so I could have just done this from home. I could have zoomed in, too. You know? That's, yeah, you could have, but that would have been disappointing. Well, bro, I got to save my social battery. Right. Yeah. Oh, because the my, social battery dialogue. You guys don't Into get it. You guys chat. don't get it. At home, working your jobs, <laughs> what it's like to do this, the pressure that's on me. You're, you're referring to the Hassan controversy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, listen, it's uh, you guys You guys following the um, social battery dialogue? <laughs> I kind of get what he's saying, though, you know, because well, so sometimes I'm like, I just need to be alone. Like today, the reason I'm, I'm late is because my goon, Cody, yeah. he just decided to take off, and he was my ride here. Oh. So I was like, yo, can you text me the address? I'll drive myself. And then the address that I went to, it was your house. I went, oh, you <laughs> drove to my house? <laughs> I, went to, I went to your house instead. Oh, my goodness. Wait, I was like, Cody, not Which this you got address. From Cody. Studio. Oh, that's a joke. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. funny, though. Yeah, hmm. no, it, I, almost, I did go to the wrong address, but it wasn't your house. Probably wasn't that far. <laughs> no, but... So what's the deal? I'm dating. That's funny though. Today, what were we talking about? There was something I wanted to wrap up. Gambling. Okay. Yeah, we were in Vegas. Vegas. Oh, we went to see Beatles Love Show, the Cirque du Soleil thing. I love the Beatles. The music was great. <sighs> I don't be that guy. Thank you. Be that guy. Thank you. It was mediocre. I'm Her, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so mad. But you hit it. big. Turned twenty five into thousands. Yeah, but then I lost it all. Oh, okay, that's usually how it goes. I when I go to Vegas, I I go with cash and I expect I'm going to lose every dollar. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to have fun. No credit cards, or you're not going. I didn't go to the, the ATM. 
Yeah, that's an embarrassing walk. No. And when I play, I'll be with like Aiden Ross and all your favorite people. In front of the show. And they just have markers, you know, so they just get like a hundred grand. Yeah. And I have to do like the embarrassing Wait, what's walk. what's a marker? It, it's when the casino like loans you money because they trust, they know that you're going to pay it back. You have so much money. So he could just be like, fuck, I just lost all my money. Give me another hundred grand. Give me, give me 300 grand. Like, there's no walk of shame. No, and I have to do that. And I'll see like a fan when I'm walking to the ATM and I'm like maxed out. My, my fucking credit card's coming out. And I'm just like, but I'm rich though. Girls that are watching that I'm going to date. Yeah, he's, he's, he's super uh, wealthy. I just have a uh, low limit on my debit card. It's ridiculous. They only let me pull out 300 bucks. What am I going to do with that in Vegas? Oh, is that right? Only three? You can get that raise, but I don't think a lot on the debit card. You get like six max. It's like, dude, what's the, what the fuck? It's ridiculous. That's why you need um, bands with the casino. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that means. That's what you said. Markers. Markers. Yeah. Yeah, well, next time we go back... We're going big. Let's go together. I Leave Aiden Ross at home. One. I would love to. I'll walk a shame with you. I'm not like that. I don't gamble like that. You know what I mean? You remember the one pit boss when Ela tried to join us when the buy-in was raised? <laughs> go on. That, you could tell a story. That was hilarious. <laughs> you tell it. Well, uh, Ela went to join us at one of the tables, and they raised the buy-in from like 25 to like 100. And Ethan's like, well, can she, because since we all know each other, it's okay if she comes in at 25. And she's like, no, I can't do that. And then she's like, I have to ask the pit boss. He's like, go ahead, get the pit boss. The guy walks up. Ethan's like, sir, I've lost $5,000 here today. Just, and the guy's like, give him what he wants. <laughs> he walked up and he's like, we can't do that. Yeah. You know, it's just the way yeah, it yeah. is. We're trying to clear the table. And I was like, dude, I've lost $5,000 a day. I just want to play with my wife. He's like, let him go. <laughs> it's pretty yeah, sick, actually. Yeah. respect. You look, you terrified him. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Ab, would you do your hair? I know. I was trying. Yeah, I was trying to give myself a little lineup before Vegas, and it worked out so good. Also, Damn, bro. that's the- fixable, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's tough. Tabs. Well, I don't know. Just look at the back. You tried to fix it. it was You're gonna have to get a high taper fade now. I did. Can we see the back? Yeah. I, now I got it. I got it faded. By what do you him. think? Can you see it? I mean, his. Oh, here I can show you here. Uh, look on the previous. I mean, screen. it's not great, but there you go. What do you think? It's not so straight. That's not least. terrible. Yeah, it's not terrible. Sure it looks worse. I did, yeah, oh, yeah. look at us. Well, that was freshly bit, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, everyone went to the gun range as well. Let's just enjoy a little shooting here. Dan is getting ready for the revolution. That's right. Nice. The la- shooting landlords, huh, Dan? Uh, you actually want to go kind of, let's surprise you. <laughs> this was uh, Love's first time shooting. How'd oh, yeah. you do, Love? He did really well. Fuck yeah, dude. Love yeah. was Call wondering if his video game off. experience would translate. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, my God, Ian. <laughs> I had a very similar weekend. We went and shot guns out in there. Check this out, dude. It's a 50 cal. Damn. <laughs> this shit was dude, crazy, dude. I hit that mid-center, dude. Yeah. That shit blows a fucking hole like this through somebody. Yeah, yeah. that thing is nuts. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? A well-positioned weapon like that, motorcade. It's funny seeing this footage. Hold up the whole German army. Mm-hmm. Call it a day. At the same time, I'm at the mall with the girls. Do you own guns? <laughs> I have a shotgun for home defense. That's good. It's a little sawed off. Woo! It's not sawed off. But it's hair. semi-automatic. That's nice. It's got like Blue seven guy. shots with no pump. That's great. You don't even need good aim for that. No. A burglar comes in, you spray. just like, shoot in that direction. Yeah. They're just, done. There's you just spray. I don't want to kill him. I think I've got like little buck little buck uh beads in there. Buck shot. Kill him. Fuck it. Well, I'm not get gonna I'm not, sh- not get a legal like, kill. You know how gangster that would be? Listen, I'm guy. not going to try not to kill him, but you know what I'm saying? If somebody's in there, they're getting sprayed. It was murder in there. Are you Batman? <laughs> he just he just stops him. He doesn't kill anyone. You know that's the thing. Like Batman. Well, no, I, I listen. I, I'll spray his ass. <laughs> but like, if it was a difference between like um, exploding shells to tear their organs up uh-huh. or some shit, uh-huh. or just like normal bullets, I would do the normal bullets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's probably a good thing because I think the only guy that's got past security was Cody. So. <laughs> right. I don't think normal bullets would stop him, frankly. <laughs> Probably not. I would need ex- incendiary white phosphorus um, <laughs> napalm bullets. Yeah, bear mace would get him. <laughs> oh, that, you know, I've thought about getting bear mace for home defense. That'd be solid for him, because he is like a bear, you know? But I do wonder if it would... Because <sighs> it's such a strong... 
product, would it disable the whole house? It'd probably get you get you some kickback. Too. Not as bad though, right in the face. Not definitely not as bad, but you'll feel it. Like yeah, you'll, you'll feel your up. nose get all like you know. You just feel that. But I like how it's like a squirt gun. It's crazy. Yeah, you could fuck someone. Such soul. a good weapon. It is. Yeah, and it's non-lethal. Yeah, it just shuts them, <laughs> shuts you down, shuts down the bad guys. I should get some bear spray. I tried to buy some on Amazon, but they're like, we can't ship that. Why don't we give all the women that we're dating today? We'll send them a care package with pepper spray. Pepper so, spray, brass knuckles. Or no, not well, no, 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 just pepper spray. That's all you need. Because if you got too, if it's too complicated, they're going to be in. What are you afraid of? When they're exactly? getting attacked by a man on the streets at night, and if I'm not there to protect them, like, okay, that's I can only fine. pick one. You that's know, that's fine. So all of the other nine, I think we should send a care package with. Pepper spray. Just so, no bare ass knuckles because then if you get ran up on, you got to think like, oh, should I go for the brass knuckles? You fidget them with the pepper spray. Yeah. They just spray themselves. So what you're saying by sending them pepper spray is you are under Jeff Wittick's um, protection. protection now. Yeah. Because yeah. you're a protector. Yeah, I guess. Would your significant other feel, I always hear this on Bachelor, they go, he makes me feel safe. I think it's so funny. Do you try to make your women feel safe in that way? Yeah. I'll yeah. take a bullet for them. There you go. Without wow. a doubt. Wow. I'll take a bullet for you. Wow. And in what situation do we imagine that happening? You got a lot of enemies. It's true. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I won't take a bullet for you because you just start beefing That's everybody. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you're, your life is... You're on your own. You're already now. in danger. <laughs> just find me love. And then <laughs> One of these look. guys might be armed for all I know, ready to take Oh, over. yeah. I, I, yeah, like Jeff said, you got a lot of enemies. I'm, I'm staying strapped. <laughs> enemies in and outside of the house. Um... All right, well, what do you guys, anything else you guys want to say about Vegas before I move on? Oh, oh the, the strip club. We didn't oh, my God. They, yeah. Dude, the girls, <coughs> I did not go. I have not, I've probably never been to a strip club. And I'm not, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just my dad is a perv, and I model my life about not being a perv. <laughs> Smash that button. <laughs> and I say that with all the love uh, in my heart for my dad. Um, he used to go girl, to, your dad used to go to, like, a lot of strip clubs? No, he was just, he's just. What do you mean by perv? He watches a lot of pornography? I mean, he's just a perv. You, how much time you got? <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty I've talked at great statement. length. I've talked at great length about it. Um, time. But yeah, it's not a very romantic conversation. Give me a yeah, little taste. <laughs> I need to know what's going on. All right, on. I'll give you a taste. <clears throat> when I was a kid growing up, me and my brother were two years apart, close in age. And on the weekend, my parents, my dad specifically, we still had to go to bed at bedtime. Like, what the hell? We're going to stay up some place the weekend. Where was your sister at at this time? She's 10 years older, so don't worry about her. Okay. She's moved out. She's okay. another picture. Ethan. <laughs> she was actually, she, when she did live with us, um, I think she got kicked out after she was, she was caught, like, smoking a joint yeah. in the bathtub. Hell yeah, smoking weed. Which is funny, because my... Your dad's a stoner. That's what I'm saying. My parents wouldn't give a single fuck. My dad walked in on me smoking weed in my room once, and he was just like, do that outside. Oh, somebody tagged me. I, sorry to go off topic. We'll come back to the, your dad being a perv in a second. But I saw a clip somebody sent me of, I know we're not supposed to speak her name here, but Trisha when you she can was talk. on the show. Mm -hmm. And she first found out about your brother. And it's wild because stuff like that's been happening to me outside of the show. Mm -hmm. And I got to be completely honest here. I got to come clean. There were some some girls that want to infiltrate the competition here, and they sent in videos and they want to, to be called, you called personally. In. Yeah, I don't know how much how long you want to keep this thing going for, but <coughs> they're pretty good. Oh no! Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Now, hold one of them's an influencer. She's like Bradley Martin. Are you talking about that girl? She's Jack. Okay, I saw that video and I found it very concerning. Um, in fact, I nothing prepared. happened. I know nothing happened, but. Um, we have side conversations, so let's just, let's disclose up front. First of all, let me pull up this video because um, I saw it and I mean, I've seen, I know her because I, I follow Bradley and I see they're always doing videos and stuff together. Yeah. I mean, other than being like friends with Sneeko, which was like oh, a, a the fat H3 fucking hell. Reddit, damn. You know, like she's friends with Sneeko. How do you live? How do you? No, she's not. She hates him. She okay, so she, she wants nothing to do with. She him. was doing videos with him or something, and I remember that being. But she realized his true colors, and now she wants nothing to do with him. And she's under my protection now, so. 
She's under your protection. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Send she's her armed. Spray. <coughs> so anyway, she don't, <laughs> how she do don't you need it? She's. You see her? I'll tell you. She seems really nice, and she's very um. She's very pretty, and she seems very nice. And she's into fitness, which I know you're super into. Yeah, and she was like, make the main event a boxing match, which was pretty wild. What does say. that mean? Like, I I know the Bachelor works. Like, I have to pick, mm -hmm. but. What if, like, I picked two and they fought? Oh, so and she, that was the main event. Does she want to enter potentially <laughs> to, um, yeah, to, to? Yeah. She just texted me. She said, call me in. Absolutely. Then if we're going to include her, then I'm all game. I love that. But don't have her cut the line. She's got to get the same treatment as everybody else. And she wasn't of age at the time. She lied right off Wait, the bat. Wait, how old is she? In this clip, she said she's 23. She was 22. She turned 23 yesterday. Whoa, that's so does crazy. That, does I didn't know she was that young. I thought she I thought she was older. Not in like a not in a negative way, but how do the rules crazy. work with something like that? Well, you she, you did carve out an exception for um ex, uh, exceptional athlete. Yeah. Yeah. Which I, you might consider her. Yeah. And she is 23. So I was working on some tech yesterday. stuff. Am I hearing that you already fucked this up? No, <laughs> no, Dan. No, I know you would love to hear that but because no. that is not. I'm just saying that is not what he said. Oh, okay. For the record, I said I actually made it better. I actually I'm growing it. The show. Mm. It's Can expanding. you? Well, okay. So give her, um, <laughs> give her contact info. Let's get her on the on the line. Let's have her call in. All right. How, how should he do that? Give her Dan's phone number or what? <laughs> no, no. But well, she's an influencer. Um, she's not like a weird. She's not like a rando. Uh. Well, we're doing it via Zoom. Uh, can I just give you the Zoom link you to go. give to just her? Tell her to DM the podcast and I'll. Oh yeah, I'll and then it. you can send it. No, it, let's do as you do that. Let's watch. This is. Um, tell her to DM the podcast or. <coughs> uh, the title of this, Jeff, I can't, I can't rave about. Jeff ruined The Bachelor with Sarah Safari. Oh shoot me for clickbaiting over mm, here at this place. Okay, all right. As long as it's just clickbait. What What do you guys do on every just episode? as long as it's clickbait? The show is ending. I don't know the show what. Was I do not know what you're talking about. And sir, I take offense. I've seen H three uh, uh, podcast ending twenty times a year. I don't even um. know what you're talking about. Let's watch your interaction with Sarah. Um, Sad music in the background. It's amazing. No, it's, it's a love show. It's like a Netflix love show. Him. We're doing like a Netflix thing right and, now. And this I this happened because of our dating show. Yeah. So that's good. Mm hmm That's nice. Mm hmm That's kind of how the other things happen, but I love that she's willing to jump into the uh, ring here. I appreciate that about her. Swear to God, you may have be talking to your one right now. Do you run? Um, no, but I can start. Oh, shit! I've never heard you say that! I've never heard you- yeah, you like actually- Relations are about like, compromise! Like, you know how like you hit the- it's like we're playing tennis, she hit the ball over, and she hasn't been hitting it back, but just now she hit it back when she said, I can try. That was really good. Mike told me that analogy, back. that old mm. fuck. Of course uh, you would have an no, old she's analogy like that. Mike for a game. massage, she's Sarah. Game. Dude, you and Mike can both have Sarah's now. Ooh, Mike's what? girlfriend's name Sarah. Is Okay, so that's it's just it was interesting to see her act like that because usually she's like tough and like she makes fun of Bradley mm. She's like shut up. You're on steroids and all mm. this stuff And I think that's funny, you know, and then she was like flirting back, which was just I, I don't know it was, it was <coughs> Caught me by surprise and so again um, this she's just entering the ring and this is fun We've had wild cards in the past, but entering the ring we're here to find love, and this is okay. She's listen. I mean, let's not forget about our wonderful contestants who. who I already, haven't forgot. I've who, been who thinking about them forget. every day. You push the show in a whole nother week. I've been dying to get. I, I mean, there's a few. I'm not gonna say right now, but there's a few that are really on my mind that I feel like I already. I can name the top three right now. Hold that, because we're yeah, gonna. Of we're gonna. We're gonna we're start. Time. We're starting with ten. Okay. I don't so, even think Sarah's in the top three. So there you go. Yeah. As of now, unless yeah. she fucking does some wild shit. I need to talk to her. Yeah. I need to hear from her. Uh, it's, you know. But so you had said, <coughs> have you guys been texting? Have you been talking? I did her podcast. I did Bradley's podcast. I got him to take his hat off. I got him to admit to steroid use. Um, it was a good episode. Oh, he did. He finally yeah. fessed off. Yeah. I love that too. I love that about him. Because when, is that the first time he's come clean about doing steroids? He said it wasn't, but I think it was. I think he's alluded to it. Mm hmm. But just look at him. I mean, yeah, it's you don't look like that. Much. It's impossible. Like yeah. look at the Rock. You know, I mean, the Rock's like sixty years old and he's in the best shape of his life. <laughs> right, right. You know, yeah, that guy's juiced the fuck up. His nuts are probably the size of an acorn. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> um, but that's the price you pay for for big muscles.
Isn't it ironic that mm. increasing your testosterone, which I think the <laughs> that was a button. I didn't like the joke. Are you you're getting out of control with this thing? <laughs> I'm I've been using now it you're editing good. now. Now you're just Some, yeah, for, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Sometimes I am just editing. He loves to hit it when the joke doesn't land. So That's are we back thing. already? <laughs> yeah, that... we're back immediately. Okay. No downtime. Put your balls in my mouth. Okay, so let's um Okay, so so are you texting with her outside of the podcast? Yeah, stream? you are texting with her. Well, of course. Have you guys made plans? No, <laughs> we did a podcast together. She's an influencer. Are you, I know, but are you texting? It's so Jover, dude. It's this is over. It's not over. <laughs> all in all, not. it is not over. I'm on your. The side. audience is in full revolt, by the way. I don't know if you've seen the chat, but what, they're not, they do, not, they're not feeling this. Why are they not? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm. This is the integrity of the show. It's gone. Stop. I'm the one that's supposed to get angry, Dan. You're the one that doesn't care. I don't believe the integrity is gone. And I'm right. This is who I you, have Jeff. to spend the rest of my life with. Why the fuck is Dan having a problem with it? Because he has to work an extra five minutes. You know? That's it's not what about I... the extra work. It's just, mm -hmm. I, I said before. He's pretty happy when the show That the happens. first two <laughs> times that we did The Bachelor, something like this happened and that was going to happen again. I know. I seen the clip. But see, Fight. he just wants to be Fight. right. I just want to find love. Fight. Same. Okay, okay, fair enough. And prove Dan wrong. That's what I want. <laughs> okay, chill, Roseanne. She's she, Roseanne is not a contestant. I'll spend the rest of my life with someone that I'm not compatible with just to, just to show Dan. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. to prove me wrong. I've gone All to right, great fair, lengths fair. to prove him wrong as well. Fuck so. off! <laughs> All right, so... Are you guys texting about non-podcast related? No, we're, we're just texting it's about It's all this. business. Yeah, we're just sure okay. business. Uh, I told her, like, look, right now, I'm in no place to be dating, flirting, any of that outside of the show. <sighs> Cut it all off. That's good shit, brother. And you had mentioned that other women had reached out and sent videos. What, what does that mean? Sarah did send a submission video. She did? To us? Yeah. What? No, nope. oh, she sent it to me and I screen recorded it because it was like one of those oh. Instagram ones that goes away. Oh, did you? She send was probably it disqualified because she's too young. I could. Well, she no, just... she never did. She sent it to Jeff. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want it? I'll send it in. Send it to um. I don't want to get I... too caught up on this though because we hold the phone. I want to watch the video. I want to watch it. Where the fuck is it? We've Some got of these time. Girls looks pretty young. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, not that young, Vosh. <laughs> Vosh says, uh, I think it's pretty sussy. Vosh thinks it's sussy. What? <laughs> I can't, I can't it's find... not that young. She's 23, man. Yeah, I would prefer not to She's date too... a 23 year old that's way too young. We've all yeah. jerked at the lolly at some point or another. <laughs> that's not. That is, Vosh. Did you hear what Vosh is saying? <laughs> okay, so send it to Dan. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's, we'll watch it so that the people can know. I'd love to talk to her though as well. I have questions to to make clear her. Well, um, I don't want to jump to conclusions. Is it editing iMac? <laughs> Which oh. one is it? Editing iMac? Or? Oh no, that's cams. Um, where should uh, we send it? There? Uh, if you do the airdrop, you can yeah do the editing iMac. Okay, he can he can. And then Cam can give it to me. Very good, very okay. good, very good. We're airdropping. That's right. We love to airdrop. One sec. I just second. learned about that shit. <laughs> Because I, I didn't always have a, an iPhone. Yeah. So I'm relatively new to that ecosystem. I remember when Cody first got out of prison, I took him to the Apple store, mind blown. Oh. AirPods. He's like, yo, no wires on these shits, dog. That's, this yeah. shit's crazy. That is kind of, that's cool. That's kind of a cool <laughs> thing about being in prison. <laughs> it's like a time like machine. Yeah. Mm hmm. Should go. <laughs> I should try it. <laughs> um, all right. With all that being said, anything else to disclose? Um, no, I uh, just, you know, I'm late today. I'll let you know via Instagram story. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I mean, like, uh, like I said, I can't boy. be mad about any of that. So with all that being said, as we wait, let's queue up the feed for our 10 wonderful uh, Batch Thriller contestants. They've been on your mind. Mm -hmm. and, and, and who? why wouldn't they? They're lovely, lovely ladies. Yep. 
Hey, Jeff, sorry, the airdrop just failed. Could you do it again? <coughs> what happened? The, air, the airdrop failed. Oh, time. it's still going. It's, it, I don't know, maybe it's a Wi-Fi here? Maybe the tech's not that good. Maybe it's not ready. Airstrikes. That's what we need. So It's only a quarter of the way through. Jeff, of the ten contestants, um, you'll be choosing five top finalists. Ooh, all right. Yeah, okay. And um, the next five, I believe I'm going to have to fly him out. <sighs> yeah. I'm already getting nervous. Well, love is, love is, um, love, true love will find you in the end. So you're flying five out? Well, I think most of them live by, there's one in like Australia. That was the furthest one, but that's, I, that's an I'll expensive fly at a flight. Yeah, I don't care. All right. We have a budget on this show, Jeff. <laughs> we have no sponsors, but we f we find a budget somewhere. Uh, we're working on that though. <laughs> so we have five. We have ten semifinalists. We'll be doing somewhat of a speed dating experience. Give you about five minutes to chat with each person. But I mean, it's flexible. It's mm. flexible. Um, I've got a uh, cheat sheet for you if with some icebreakers if you want to refer to that oh perfect you know what i mean this is what i need because it's a speed dating experience. oh i'm gonna be sitting there <laughs> you'll be it? sitting there yes if you want to are the so girls queued up are they ready to begin sam uh they they were told to join the zoom by one so there may be still a couple filing in yeah um i do oh, see quite a few of them in the waiting room though is i have eight in the waiting room currently. <laughs> do we have gabby uh <laughs> gabby is in here Yes. So why don't you have a seat at the um Okay. At our lovely Italian uh, table. Take a seat right over there. Where you guys will be meeting and you know, just seeing what's the face to face chemistry <laughs> like. Okay. Um, oh shit. What's the best religion? That's the first question you have well, on. Well that's here? interesting. Well, you know, you never know. What is the best religion? I've wondered that. Um, the we, Jews. How are you feeling? You feeling good? Nervous. You're nervous. My palms are sweating. I bet that I bet they're even more nervous. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. You know, so they're this, also putting themselves out there in front of the world. Exactly, the and they're not used to this kind of uh, media exposure. You know, what's the medallion you've got around your neck? I've noticed. It's Saint Christopher. Oh, it's a protector. He's supposed to protect you in your travels. He's I'm the explorer. I've heard about him before. Yeah, you go ahead. So, I've heard about St. Christopher. I love that about him. And that's a beautiful... And, and that looks to be like a 24 karat, eh? Don't know. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. Sorry, I'm just taking... I'm getting a note here. Ian, did you see my note? Oh, are these all the same ones he has? Okay, great. Let's go ahead and get this party started with Gabby. Now, <laughs> Gabby, I, I'm, I'm not good with the names, so actually I don't know exactly who's who. Do you remember the names? A couple. Yeah, a couple. I Was Gabby the one that I wanted to go see the night of? She's in L.A. Oh, you remember Gabby. Uh-oh. <clears throat> I could be wrong. Um. All right, so uh, what's up, Dan? You pulling up a Gabby photo? A lovely, lovely Gabby. Was she the one, the one in LA? I don't remember. She's from Michigan. She's from Michigan. Okay, good. Or she lives in Michigan, rather. We're gonna. She. She can't wait to get out of there, man. Mm -hmm. Megan was the one you wanted to meet the night night off. Megan. So what? The, let's bring out Gabby. Let's bring her on. And have, meet your first date. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to sit like this. So I face her? Whatever you're comfortable with here. Yeah, do we have this a, is, a I, show I have what? no peripheral vision on this side, so this is uh -oh, not going to work. I can't see you. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I'd have to be like, sorry. Turn. Absolutely. Turn however, you, however you're comfortable. It's, it's totally fine. It's gone want... from The Bachelor to Love is Blind. Oh, A.B., that's <laughs> it. He said it. He said it. 
So what? Her shot is <laughs> sideways. Uh, it sure is. Gabby, can you turn your camera to the side? Flipped. I'm You're flipped. Sorry. Yeah. Hold on. Gabby is. So that's her camera. I'm always flipped. Her camera's flipped. That's what's happening. Oh, so Mike Cavanaugh flipped. made it. Yeah. If, oh my god. If you're on your phone, turn off rotation lock. Uh, we're we're getting worked. Oh, one. There you go. Wonderful. That works. <laughs> wow, Gabby, you look great. Thank you. You do too. Now, so so nice to meet. You. Oh, we lost her. Did we lose her? No, she's here. No, no, no. I'm still here. Is um, everything okay? Now, just to refresh, and I'll let you guys take the wheel. So, Gabby, just to make sure, you're you're from Michigan, correct? Yep. I'm from Detroit, born and raised, kind of. I okay. did live in China a little bit. Really? What were you doing in China? My dad used to work for Ford, so we kind of all got shipped out together when I was like six years old. They make Fords in China? They Apparently. Wow. It's like a really common thing for people in Detroit to... Like bring their family and go to China. Wow! Wow! Ma American manufacturing ain't what it used to be. No, I it's... know. We got to do more China. I've never been to Detroit. You should come. I'll give you a little tour. I would love to do that. Well, if this does go the distance, you know, one of us is going to have to make the move. And I am willing to do that. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Um, I was planning on moving to California anyway next year. Wonderful. Oh, okay. You were but already planning the, on it, moving to LA. But, 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 the, the thing is, I kind of want to move from New York, California, go back and forth. I don't know if that's okay with you. Mm. I, I'm actually looking to do the same thing, but it, I'm not going to lie. Ooh. It concerns me a little bit that you were already planning on moving to LA and you could be using this as an opportunity to use Ethan's credit card to, you know, help you along that journey. Oh, I'm not it helping does. her. Well, I might help her move. Yeah, I'll help. I'll, Look, I'll, I'll be, okay. I'll be completely I honest. Did. I'm extremely insecure. <laughs> I have a lot of issues. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, if if you know me well enough, I, I talk about it a lot. Um. So of course, of course, I have a little bit of a guard up. You know. I. Me too. I don't, me too. I don't want you to fly out here blow up on TikTok and then just leave me in the dust. Of course not. I get it. I have my walls up too. It's, it takes a lot for me to trust someone. And I mean, we just have to break those walls down together, whatever I'm it takes. Inside your walls. Okay. I'm down to break those fucking walls down. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, what do you want to do I with your, what do you want to do with your life? Do you want to follow in your father's good, footsteps and make American cars in China? Absolutely not. I, I mean, my goal is to become rich and famous and then quit all of it and just own a bunch of animal sanctuaries around the world. Okay, That's so really what I love the second part. I love the second part of that. First part, yeah. What do you want to be rich wanna, in, What do you want to be rich and famous for? I mean, I love fashion. I, I didn't really mean to get into making content. It kind of just happened when I was in New York. Uh, here's your sp uh, spaghetti um, you. with noodles. <laughs> I'm also prepared. Oops, I, sorry about that. Beautiful, beautiful. I've got some fortune cookies. You're having Chinese. <laughs> You're eating Chinese. Okay. China. We like Chinese China. food. Oh, miss you. We love it's China. not the most appropriate, but I also got a candle to make this <laughs> memorable. A little surf and sea candle. Beautiful. Part of my reach. I wish I could smell it. Thank you. Do you have any Parmesan? Do you have a little Parmesan? Have, sure, I'll look in the in the kitchen for you. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, what does she do? She says she's an influencer. Yeah. What is she, yeah. What are you currently doing now? Like for what? What is? Where is this house? Are you, do you live with your parents? No, I have my own apartment, and I just make fashion content and i mean i love it i love working for myself Wait, what kind of content i want to own a fashion, fashion. business oh fashion yeah cool. fashion yeah so you want i fashion love fashion business. i mean Ask you can she... tell my room is very pink yeah it's, it's very pink i love how you design your room thank you i'm a very feminine person but i, I you know i just love expressing myself and i need a man who respects that you know Strong absolutely do you respect strong women? What made you submit your video? 
What made you? <laughs> That's a good question because this is so out of my comfort zone. I'm so private with my life and my dating life, and I don't date online at all. Like, I just like to meet people in person. But of course, you're very cute. No one can deny that. But I really like your sense of humor, and you may appear. I'm not. You may, you may look like a a fuck boy. In <laughs> okay. She's not wrong. But she's not wrong. You're, no, she's not. She's not. Yeah, she's not, she's not wrong. Yeah. yeah. I'm being honest, but I, it seems like you have a really good heart, and you seem like a gentleman, and I really like that. Thank you. Um, now, would you? What could I do to look less of a fuck boy? Because I take care of myself. I, I have good hygiene. You know, I own a yeah. product line. And it's it requires me to kind of look fuckboyish, yeah. you know? Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think you're just really attractive, and sometimes you should just I get a can't face that. It. Should I do something? That could be a vibe. That I got scars vibe, all over my face. You know, what more do I need? I like that. So hmm. let me ask. The, Maybe you're not that. Too. Um, let me ask a question. <laughs> Is it important? Do you want a, a woman who who's good at cooking? Is that important to you or no? No, I don't care about food. What about religion? Are you religious? I was raised. I was raised Catholic. And so, but I believe in all, uh, all all religions. They all him. go to the same place. Okay, I'll look for another one. What is? The, uh, let me ask you this question, um, Gabby, and um, forgive me. Okay. If, Thank you for wingman, wingman. And I'm, I'm, oh, I've got your back. I'm nervous. Got your back. I'm here for you. She's I'm beautiful, the, man. It's hard. Yes. And everybody's watching, commenting, <laughs> saying Jeff's got no riz. Well, it's not the, it's not the, it's set up to be awkward. Thank you. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. You're talking to her over a Zoom, you know, with this place. Yeah. It seems like real life. I know this is nerve wracking. <coughs> I did want to mention that I just heard you talk about the St. Christopher thing. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny because my dad was actually named after St. Christopher because his mom got in a car crash and had the St. Christopher on her like, what is it called? Like the mirror in the car. And so she named him after that. So. Can I make a question? If they died, do, how do we know that St. Christopher didn't curse the vehicle? I mean, I'm just... Did I she mean, survive? A thing to ask. No, she survived. She I survived. know it is. Ethan, she survived yes, because she, of the medallion. Well, you think the medallion saved her, didn't car Yeah, <laughs> she didn't... <laughs> Well, that's I'm just, I just, you know, I'm good uh, because that's kind of, that's probably what I would have thought. I'd be like, Christopher <laughs> failed me. And then I'll probably, you know what I mean? But, but that's yeah. not how the Catholics think. They and think so different. No, no, the they don't. No. They don't. It worked. St. Christopher <laughs> saved it did, it her worked. grandmother. And Someone else that's why you're like, here today. Because you wouldn't exist if it wasn't for this. Yeah. That's a sign, dude. That's a. Right. I think so. I, 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 listen, I, that was crazy. My right. saints make sure I don't crash. That's all I'll say. That's like the Trump thing. I like I like um, prisoners of war that weren't captured. I like anyway. We don't need to go there. Um, what about? Do you? Do you let ahead. me let me go. Let me go. What about? You know, I, I got a lot of shit for this last episode. I got a lot of shit for a lot of things last episode. But the the main thing was, I. Didn't understand why a woman wouldn't want to have kids. I get why people don't want to have kids. I completely understand and respect and that. Someone else that's why you're... My bad. Go on. I would like to have kids. I am the bachelor here. I'm supposed to pick what I want. Absolutely. So, yeah. <coughs> I, I'm respect. okay. You know, if you don't want kids, cool. But that's what I'm looking for. That's the reason why I'm doing this show. Because I, I, I'm looking for a real relationship. Which is tough to find in the city we live in. And the lifestyle that, you know... Ethan and I live. True. Well, that's a hard right place to start. Do you want kids, Gabby? Yeah, I'm I'm open to kids. I mean, I could see my life going both ways and I could definitely see myself having kids, but I'm very like stern on them being like a good father. Like I kind of need them to write an essay about why they want to be a father. So I think some people jump into some people jump into having kids just to have, have it. And I want to make sure that they know what they're signing themselves up for. Like we're giving up our lives for the kid. I'm ready Flash. for that. I've lived plenty of Kids life. Kids love Hitler. 
I'm yeah. ready. I'm ready to to. <laughs> what? Zach's played a soundbite and said, "Kids love Hitler." <laughs> Unrelated to your guys' conversation. Hopefully not our kids. Hopefully no. not. <laughs> Can you guarantee but, me, Gabby? What are your thoughts on that Hitler? If you both reproduced. Your kids will not love He's Hitler. Not Hitler. <laughs> Hitler. Wait, who? If Hitler, Hitler was reincarnated as her baby, what would you do? I didn't say anything like that. Ooh. I, that would be a really tough thing. Let me ask you this. Sorry, go ahead. Hmm. I gotta, I gotta stay what if we had a demon child? <laughs> what do we do? Do we take that it up to a mountain and, and leave it there? Do we send it down a river? Like they do I in... Give them an exorcism. Do Watch a little shock a therapy die. or something. But if, if your baby was born as Adolf Hitler, would you kill him? Your only That's child, your oldest fun. child. What? What did I do? You don't have to and answer that. It's a, it's a moral conundrum. <laughs> you don't need to answer that. It's a moral I'm gonna conundrum. Step in right now. I'd have to smother that. I'd have to smother our child with a pillow. Love. Uh oh. And yeah, he's Hitler, Gabby. Like you, you'd come home and you'd see the look on my face, and I'd be like, "Baby, it's already done." Uh, How are we liking that? Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. I mean, they killed my people, my, I think, my, my Slavic people. I'm Macedonian. Oh, wow. Oh, I love the Macedonian. I think I'm yeah, from around there. My brother did 23andMe, and I'm from, like, around that area. That's, like, by Albania and that. stuff, right? Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause we were all one, and then they had a little war, and we all got disconnected. So uh -huh. we probably a little... Hopefully not too close of a bloodline together, but, you know, we got some shared traits. Gabby, yeah. before I let you go, is there anything you want to say to Jeff before we uh, say ta-ta uh, and good evening? Yes, I mean, I'm so ready to see you and maybe <clears throat> meet in person and explore this together. You know, it's, it's hard when it's online and, mm -hmm. you know really talk and feel each other's energy so yeah i'm i'm ready to meet you and i think we have a lot in common and i think the saint christopher thing was the cherry on top it's just it's meant mm -hmm. to be just don't drive together with that thing on. Oh, i'm yeah. sorry i shouldn't go there it's not right anything but we probably survive but maybe not the other car yeah that's what christopher does all right well gabby pack your bags because you're coming to hollywood is that like the, Wait, do we do it like American Idol? Is it just like your, are you issuing a green right now? Yeah, can I do that? Sure. Yeah, you're coming out. Wow, Pack Gabby, your bags. What, that, that, what, a, what a celebration, mm -hmm. Gabby. You. I'm ready. Thank you, Jeff. I can't wait to meet you in person. Maybe we can go on like a walk on the beach. Maybe commit some crimes. I don't know. I'm down for all that. I, Kids love I'm ready. Hitler. I would love that. This is so exciting. Gabby, thank you so much. We thank you, Gabby. Gabby. We'll be in touch too on the next phase here, but I'd love to bring you out here and see what's good. I'm ready. So where I'm is, ready. what does she see? Because there's no camera here. She's just seeing side profile of me. Uh, yeah, it, she's seeing uh, yeah. just a single on oh, you. Oh, here, it's you see that? Right here. Yeah, you see that? So she sees, so I'm not making eye contact with her when I look at the no. TV? No. It's a little, oh, okay. no. even a little more <laughs> awkward. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll keep it for in person. We'll make sure to look in, into each other's eyes. Deeply. That's sometimes that, some, sometimes I don't like that because I, I'm, I have a little insecurity about. Smashed, I got yeah. fucking smashed in the head with a crane, so my eyes a little fucked up still. So I, I get a little insecure when I'm that close, it, like right away. Yeah. Now I with Ethan over there, my boy, I could look him in the eyes all day. I don't give a fuck, you know. But yeah. in, on a on a first date, sometimes it makes me insecure. So this was nice that I'm just side yeah. profile on my good side. Thank you, Dan, if that was you who That's, set that up. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, I'm happy. But you know what? The message I said in Chinese at the end, I I said you're really cute and I really like your eyes. No bullshit. I I really like your eyes. I Do like you... like really brown eyes and like they're very doughy. Wow. Do you like you his, have beautiful his eyes too? Eye as much as his good eye. <laughs> Yeah, do you like my huh? fuck? Do you like my fucked up eye? Do you like his? I should like your eyes better now after the little incident. Really? Really? Yeah. I so really I'm do. less, I'm less fuckboyish now that some scumbag stripped some of my looks from me. The now it actually made it better for, for us. I think he elevated you. You know, he's going down. That hairline is just receding, and you're leveling Ooh, up. Oh, I love the shade. 
All yeah. right, listen, yeah. uh, Gabby, we thank you. You're coming to Hollywood. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood, as, uh, as Jeff I'm says. Ready. Thank you right. so much. We'll be in touch. And this is, uh, wow. That's oh, such wow. a, I can't, I can't say that every time. Welcome, you're coming to Hollywood. It's pretty funny. But yeah, get, it's funny. Is there more variations we can work on? Because it's a bad thing. Like, why? Yeah, I don't want a, them coming to Hollywood. It's a joke. It's a yeah, joke. I, want like America's them, got I want us yeah. moving to fucking Montana and getting a ranch. I and, feel that that was a nice connection. There was a good flirting. There was good chemistry. Absolutely. As the St. Christopher ties. You, uh, you were a good wingman. Was I interrupted Besides too the, much? the uh, stuff about, you know, St. Christopher, Christopher being a fraud and the entire... I was, just saying, I was just saying, I wouldn't name my kid after that if it caused me to have an accident. But I don't know her grandma. But he, look, accidents are going to happen. Yeah. Not, well, that was She was protected. Then? She wasn't I'm killed. Falling. All right. You we, know, I had this on when I got blasted in the head by the fucking crane. It was oh, a, that it, thing's... It was an old one, though. Oh, the new one? And they took it off in the hospital when they cut all my shit off when I was on the bed. And, you know, I was only in there with one guy. So I gave it to him to hold. Guess what happened? He what? lost it. Who was the guy? Who do you think? Was it David? Mm-hmm. You gave him the fucking thing and he lost it? The only it? one guy allowed in the hospital was COVID times. Bro, he is a monster. He's like the worst dude ever. I had to get another. Well, my fr my other friend bought me another one because I told him that story. I was pissed off my friend from New York. I told That's him really the fucking nice. story. I missed the mark yeah. with that Can one. you imagine like you almost kill someone and they're like, just hold on to this heirloom for me. <laughs> that protected me. <laughs> He's like, Psh. Throw it out and he window. got rid of it. What else? Like he wanted me psycho. dead. Get actually, rid of the evidence. I know it sounds funny, but it's actually fucking sick. It, no, well, let's get back to dating. <laughs> <laughs> we we love that. We we must bring up David. It's you know what I mean. He's, he's yeah. He's there, like the boogeyman, always watching, always listening. He caused this. He caused this. Watching a wiener. All right. So up next we have um, another wonderful. Wonderful entry. Um, Rachel. Rachel is from Los Angeles. And she is a, like Gabby, interestingly, also a beauty influencer. Interesting. All right. I'm just saving my social battery. Save it, save on that. Keep it charged up, buddy. We're mm -hmm. on that. We got that. I e on, I on extra charge. It's a long show here, you yeah, know. Four four hours we went last time. Please let Rachel in. Rachel from Los Angeles, a beauty influencer, and this is exciting. This Holy is shit! Wow. Oh. Hi, Rachel. Oh, wow. I remember <laughs> you. You remember me? Yeah, of course. Your video wow. was great. It was hilarious. Thank you. I literally thought I was going to get canceled after I submitted that. I was like, oh, fuck, this isn't going to go well. But it did. I'm like very happy it did. So you're a, you're a big time influencer because I saw a lot of people commenting about you that they were like, oh, my God, I can't believe Rachel submitted. I know. They blew up my spot on TikTok, too. All my comments were about The Bachelor. And I was like, I didn't think anyone would know who I was. I don't think of myself as like a big time. But okay. oh, stop it. You're so you humble. Said you said it. She is humble. She is humble. So you're a beauty influencer. Yeah. Do you do like get ready with me type content? And I'm more like, I do more educational content. So tutorials, tips, stuff like that. Sometimes I'll do a get dressed with me, but yeah, I like to focus on like the editing and stuff. Like Are you that. from Long Island? No, I'm from Chicago. Wow. Yeah. Part, of my, part of my reach, sir. Another, another, oh, that's for... Oh, it's you. the wacky waiter. Didn't you already get spaghetti? Is that another one? I guess you get a new one every date. Oh, cool, cool, cool. It's fresh. That's nice. I don't want nice another touch. girl's spaghetti on and your table. I need so another a gla wine glass. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I All wanted right. to say though, you if uh, oh, okay. Part of my part of me, guys. Just, <laughs> Imagine the, just, you just forget I'm here. <laughs> you just light me on fire. Whoops. Not another injury. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So um. Yeah. Are you a big fan of the show here? Are you a fan of the H3 podcast? Or did you hear about this through through me and submit? Or was this... No, I'm definitely a fan of the H3 podcast. That's like, what I figured. I we love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I guess we love that. Yeah, we, we, that's but good. How can you hate that? How are you supposed to 
find out, you know? There's a good vintage for you. I want, I want a woman that hates this show. That's what, be, that's what I'm looking for. She's really interested in you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this a good, do you approve of that? What is that? It's uh, just... Non-alcoholic? <laughs> Too much wine. It's Welch's. Welch's. That's classic. Yeah, sure. I'll I'll try it. Don't fucking make me relapse. Too much for wine. This, There's as, no, for a bit. No, of course. Seven not. years down the drain. You don't have to no, fight in okay. alcohol addiction. Ask her about herself. Okay. Um. Well, I wanted to say, <coughs> if it does come down to a boxing match, then can I stand here? Right. Can they? Would you be? Would you actually be down to fight with one of the other girls in the in the main event? Oh yeah. I'm a fighter. I do boxing and MMA and all that stuff. What do you mean by you do boxing and MMA and all that stuff? Like I train. You go to a gym and you and you train. Mm -hmm. ask yeah. Her, ask her if she has pepper spray. What if somebody attacked you on the street? What would you do? And you had pepper spray on you. Would you go to the pepper spray or would you use your martial arts skills that you um, picked up? I carry a knife with me everywhere I go. So oh, you carry a knife. Go for the joints. How many inches wow. on that blade? Yeah, yeah. How, how many inches? Um, it's legal. It's legal. Ooh, uh, no comment. <laughs> nice. You could do damage with a legal blade. That's good. I, I still yeah, would get you some mean. pepper spray and stuff like that. So um, what's your plans for your future? You know, are you going to take this influencer beauty stuff? Are you going to do it for life? You're going to try to expand and keep growing um, the business i mean i guess you always have to think about expanding in this career because it it moves so fast and it could be gone in literally a second so i'm always thinking about what's next but i mean i'm in the beauty space so the but what's your dream financial. like what what is what is your dream my dream would be i would love to have like Kind of like a Bill Nye the Science Guy type show, but about makeup. I don't think anyone's done that before, and I think it'd be really fun. Oh, so like, uh, like about Man. about the ingredient. I'm sorry. A part, a part of me, part of me. <laughs> the fuck, I can't get a thought through. No, I I'm gotta, sorry. Where should I stand, you guys? Nobody's sit helping. Sit over there, wingman me. Get, I get wanted on. to be like at the waiter in the back. No, be on the mic because <laughs> you were wingman me before, and, okay, and you're, right. you're helping with the dead air. Okay. No. Oh, you guys. Oh, they want me to stand over here. What about the over here, Jeff? Do you want you want you're more comfortable with me you sitting laugh? there? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just making sure you're you're. I'm left up. And yeah, you're, I'm you're wing, He's gonna stand man. behind you like a bodyguard. I completely oh, a wait an attentive waiter. <laughs> you look like you're in the mob, and you have to have someone stand just in case. You sound like you're in the mob. You do sound like you're in the mob. <laughs> no comment. No comment. That I think that voice comes out when I'm like nervous or like performing, and mm -hmm. I'm nervous. You know, so. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, about the Sopranos. What What are your thoughts on the Sopranos? Um, amazing show. I I gave my fun fact. Remember my fun fact? I forgot it. Which what, what was it? About how Tony Soprano he always eats his food. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. That was good. Yeah, I saw. Also, somebody called you out on that. They said Tony's no, such oh, a pro. They, I literally saw it in a documentary. Yeah. They said show. Tony's such a pro. I don't know what documentary that is, but send it to me. I want to watch it. They say Tony's such a pro that he would just be like this the whole time and he would never even put the food in his mouth. He'd just be like this, you know, so. Wow. I saw something way different. And if we look at the show, you could see him put his food in his mouth. What, what do you call that? So, yeah, hold look, on. Is I this your no, guys' first fight? I, I, I have no problem with that. I, I say a lot of bullshit on the internet that I don't fact check. I do podcasts, <laughs> so it's like, you know, I just say shit sometimes. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's not our first You're fight. You're saying I said bullshit? I, I think... Maybe you, you didn't, you weren't educated. Uh, you, you didn't have enough information on the on the subject to give an opinion mm. on it. <laughs> <laughs> so you <laughs> believe a random comment you made? Yeah. What are yeah. You no. no. Oh. Wait. What'd she say? Oh, Sorry. Bell, 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 bell. I couldn't hear because Ethan was saying something. What'd you say? She, she said, she said, do you um, do you trust a random internet commenter more than me? Oh no. Yeah. No. You no. gotta have trust here. Say no. No, absolutely not. Okay. I trust him. <laughs> I mean, it could be wrong. I don't know. Well, we can easily okay. fact check that. Let's. Yeah, Dan is gonna. See, Dan is fact checking that right now. True. Cool. Yeah. Dan, if I'm wrong, that's gonna look really mm. bad. <laughs> she couldn't Wait, so possibly the, the, look bad, the right? The fun Jeff? fact was, did he? He ate all the food. He didn't use a spit bucket, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm fact checking. 
Okay, so let, let's bring this back in then. What about you? Where do you see your career going in the next like five years? Good question. That's a great question. Um, probably more of the same shit that I'm doing now. Yeah. That's just how it goes for us guys uh, in, in this business. I don't know. Um, that's a thing that we'll have to deal with. I don't yeah. know where my career is going to go. I don't know where my next paycheck is going to come from. You're fine. That's the thing. You you kind of have to be super present in the moment to take whatever opportunity comes to you so you can capitalize on it like that. Otherwise, you kind of fall to the wayside. Yeah. Uh, you seem very business savvy. Mm -hmm. Would really. you ever want to maybe do your own makeup line or something like that? Mm. I've thought about it. I'm I'm definitely heavy in the business side of things, um, like marketing wise, but I don't know. It just seems like everybody makes um, a makeup product these days, and I don't know if it would a lot. If Addison Rae had to shut down her makeup line because it didn't sell enough, I don't think I would survive. Oh, is that right? I didn't know that, but apparently right. she's not all that. She, I love Addison Rae, but I'm just saying, like, it doesn't mean as much as it doesn't did. Doesn't sound like, like it. Five years ago. Ask her, um, it's just a curveball. Sorry, one second. Just, something, something about, I think, astro astro or astrology could be good. You know how ladies love that shit. And <laughs> the other oh, that's actually funny. Yeah, are you into astro astro right before this. Are you into space and shit like that? Uh, astrology. Astrology? Astrology? Yeah. Space is one Stars. thing, but astrology is like the... The women voodoo. It says astronomy on the paper. I know. So I, 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 it's, there's a typo on, on the yeah. cheat sheet that they gave yeah, me. Are you into astrology? I'm a Sagittarius. I, I know nothing about it, but you seem yeah, like the type no, of person my, that would... me, My best friend is super into that stuff, so we were actually reading your chart right before this. And oh, it's fuck. Very... How did I do? You don't do anything, but it just like tells you kind of what your life is going to be like. And... It makes sense. I think you have a Capricorn stellium or something like that, which kind of means that, you know, the beginning half of your life, there's like a lot of struggle. But then as you move into like your 30s, that's when things really start to, you start to hit your stride. 30s and, and when I got hit by a crane. That's <laughs> yeah, but look at everything that happened after. I guess it's a good way to look that's at it. That's a stride of sorts. Yeah. You're wow, you're very optimistic. You do. And you're so cute. You have a Thank perfect you. skin. I see Thank that you. Italian I mean, I horn on, around your around your neck. Oh, you saw it. I was wondering. What is that? A Saint Laurent purse in the back there? Oh, that's um the they set they send like Did somebody get you a gift for Valentine's Day. Oh, no, the brand you can look at like every influencer. They received that heart thing. It has lipstick in it. It's like a PR package. Oh, I think Ela got one of those. She Thank checks you. out. She checks out. Are you just saying that? Are yeah. you? Dating someone? Ela got it. Are you are you talking to anyone or dating anyone currently right now? No, I'm not a big like dater. Like I don't use the apps or anything. I'm, I don't know. Do you like? Yeah. You both are Italian. This is an interesting, right? This is a good thing. We love the Italian uh, connection, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. I Those think I... Italians. I love the Italians. Yeah. How do you feel about that? My mom always told me not to date in Italian, <coughs> but I can't. Do you cook? Yeah, I do. I think my best thing is that I make is soup. You make good soup? Soup. Really good soup. I've been <laughs> Olivia has been saying Dude, that. it's the year of soup. It's all it, I've been it doing. Is. It's so good. We went to breakfast and Olivia ordered everything. two soups. I got two soups and they were both delicious. They were really. They were. Dude. Double fisting soup. Yes. So sorry, that. Jeff, to hijack your date. I had to talk about no, soup. No, it's okay. Soup's great. <laughs> well, Can't wait to try it. <laughs> um, so you live it? in L.A. already? Yeah, I live in L.A. Perfect. Well, I Save like money that. on, on yeah, the Yeah, that's me money. Uh, I guess we can't do the welcome to Hollywood. You're com coming to Hollywood thing because she's I'm already here. But what does that mean? Does that mean... Can I? Do I just yes at all? You don't have to because I understand that. It's, you should probably wait till the end. It's uncomfortable for you and them. What if I hit five before? One That's one thing. Yeah, I, I, I think you should wait until the Also, end. what if you say no? That would be so sad to their face. I'm not saying no. That's, that's... Not to her, but I mean in general. Yeah, no, I can't do that. I, but you're not going to be able to say no to anyone. I'm not saying no. So then we're going to have... Let's so hold your judgment for... Damn. for uh, to the end. Or Damn what? 
It's not well, over. I, I thought I was going to get a yes. And then I'm not allowed to green light everyone to Hollywood because they're, it's yeah. the rules of the show. Yeah, this the is integrity the integrity of the now. show. I say oh, you, guys should, you guys should wait. Because I've already been in trouble. I gotta respect the game. I gotta respect We will the announce game. it at the end, but it sounds like Jeff likes you. Yep. Mm -hmm. well, if I we're like feeling Jeff. it. <laughs> Rachel, before we let you go, is there anything you want to say to um, our wonderful contestant here today? Um, I think you're doing a really great job, and I really respect all the work that you're putting into it, and I'm excited to show you my suit. <laughs> oh wow. I want beautiful. Hey, do I get some? You're beautiful. Nice. You can have soup. I'll bring soup for everybody. It's my chicken. Dude, you are gonna Thank win. God. If you do that, you're gonna win. <laughs> I'll bring soup for Olivia. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia. You just got it. major points with that one. Absolutely. What kind of soup? Um, I think chicken noodles my best, but I also do a chicken dumpling that's all of this dumpling? sounds perfect. We love dump. We love dumpling. All right. Rachel, it's such a pleasure, such a joy to connect with you and uh, Yay! Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you to everybody. Nice. Nice to uh, do the date. I'm a fucking... Go on. She's gone already. Oh, she I left fucked already? Up. You, you cut it on a stutter. I didn't do that. That was Dan. You guys cut her off on a stutter. She's still watching. I fumbled that so bad. Well, it looked bad, There's but no Dan cut her off. She did that. <laughs> Dan, once again, undermining the integrity of the I, show. Wait, what did you, I do? And I don't then know. I was with Olya. You removed her from the screen? Yeah, it seemed like it was over. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> oh shit! You got uh, a big I do want to say I I I, okay? uh, I liked her a lot, so I don't want. I'm to... nervous, bro. <coughs> I don't mind the sweat marks. I mean, people sweat. Yeah, it's you, hot in here too. The AC's blazing. Fuck, man. You want a little fan? Nice I can bring you a fan. With the air conditioning. We have little silent fans. I think I need real. <laughs> no, I'm gonna give you. <laughs> a, a, I got a big fan. That shit's good though. Try that. Great. Yeah, well, give me a little buzz. I mean, if you're fucking no alcohol sugar. In there. None of that is alcohol, right? On his desk? Yeah, no. Thanks for checking now. Yeah. After this. No, no, I was, I was. I'm going back to you're good, zero. You're good. Do you think it's like that? If you take like one sip, it's like a I, danger? I did it in Vegas last really? week because my friend, he ordered, well, I ordered sparkling water. He ordered sparkling water and Tito's. Mm. And they bring them out and they hand me the one that's not i take a sip and it, of course it's the fucking tito's and i got a huge gulp of it in my mouth mm. and i took one little gulp that went down in my stomach so then i just started started trying to throw it up because For i real? feared that i would get the buzz back oh my good and once i get a taste i'm like oh, i remember this oh wow yeah <laughs> so wow okay we'll be very careful i don't want you that but i've i've made i've slipped up but never like uh, like a real a slip crazy up. Crazy relapse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think that's going to happen to my future wife. Wow. Out there. Rachel and Gabby, fantastic. Up next, we've got Miranda. She comes from Dallas. And she's a logistics manager. A logistics manager. Maybe she, her logist, maybe she's uh, logis logistically uh, managing our hearts. What does that mean, logistics manager? It could mean so many things. It's very broad. I feel like it could mean... <clears throat> I think it means she works for a company that has a lot of inventory and that she manages the coming and going of yeah. stuff. I think. But the I'm not... The numbers, totally... the spreadsheets. Yeah, she's a spreadsheet. Spreadsheet kind of thing. But with that all being said, let's talk to a wonderful Miranda. All right, I'm going to let her in. Where's she from again? I'll ask. She's from Dallas. 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 Oh, I remember her. Okay, and? Is it okay that the, that is a real bottle of wine? Do you want me to remove that? No, it's fine. It just it's says fine. H3 on it. That's all. That's why we put it there. Uh, the, yeah, I saw the H3 yeah. brand of wine. I thought it was you guys. I thought you were branching out. No. Well, hello there. Hi. Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You were so funny in your submission. You did an impression. Yeah. I think it was you did like a Sopranos impression. It was yeah, great. It was one of, life kind mm -hmm. of deal. One of my faves. But you're from Texas. I am. I'm from Dallas. I'm a. I was born in St. Louis, but research, I was raised right? in Texas. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry. One sec. Okay. <laughs> Are you hungry? I actually have my. Margarita pizza ready. Oh, perfect. Perfect. 
Well, so you are a logistics manager, I heard. I am. Um, what are you managing? What type of logistics? Basically, I mean, Ethan kind of said it, imports uh, and exports. I'm basically tracking them and making sure that they're of getting what? the right. Of what? Fentanyl? Would... Yeah, no. I'm Our vandalism. Because <laughs> I, like, I knew a girl from like Dallas that dealt fentanyl. Or <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, what'd you say? No, I'm sorry. No, I was just, I was just kidding. That... To cut it? No, I said, God damn it. I just, no, but I it's just the truth. Saying. No, people... yeah, it's true. It's true what he said. Yeah. It's true. Comes over the border down there in Texas and then, you know, fentanyl. Yeah, actually, all over the place. Uh, monitor what comes in through the border. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> uh, one moment, please. Uh, we're reviewing the menu. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll do PDA? that. PDA? Or maybe po politics? Take a bit of that. Um, all right, we'll do the calamari. You like and, that? And, um... What other YouTubers? Yeah. Maybe? Okay. Uh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, very we'll good, do, we'll sir. The, very good. We'll very salad. good, very good. So, obviously you're a fan of the show here. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I am. Are you a fan of any other podcasts? Um, I mean, I watch Joe Rogan sometimes. Oh, okay. Um, Joe Rogan. Brady um, a lot of TED Talks. Um, basically, like, podcasts that make me think, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. You I never tuned into Jeff FM ever? Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I love Jeff FM. Okay, but and that's totally know, fine you if you, if you haven't. That. It's totally fine if you haven't. I might even prefer that you haven't, because then, you know, this is like a real life meeting yeah. someone you get to know them Absolutely. in real life what's your favorite episode uh, of jeff fm uh-huh i like any episode where they use like the spotlight you guys have not used that in a we minute. haven't used it in a while okay. and 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 i've been asking for them to bring it back she's a jeff fan. Uh, you need to you need to it's so funny the interrogation and, like, they spotlight they get off like they're like oh shit like where'd that come from like, yeah that's, like <coughs> magnificent i love it i love it bringing it back <laughs> Next episode, we're bringing it back. Maybe it'll be you on the show. No, hey, I'm, no. I'm down. I got, I got miles. Not yet. My, uh, oh, you got some things, some so. miles already. You travel. Yeah, because I was. Um, that's why I feel like this could possibly work. Because I actually was in a long distance relationship uh, with a guy she from Vegas. But you know that didn't work out. We were like planning to move together the whole night. It just didn't work out. So. The guy lived in Vegas. Yeah. Does she want? What did he do? He was in the army. Well, oh, not the army. That's no, a, the airport. Wow, damn, he flew fucking planes? Damn, this guy <laughs> yeah. was gay. That's hard well, to compete with. Planes, but he, like, Shit, did he fix planes? And stuff were there, so. Was he jacked? Was he a big Any guy? Any skydives? He did. He oh, actually fuck. did, yeah. He was, uh, How many jumps did he have? I mean, a lot. I'm pretty sure a lot. Like, More than 35? Uh, I yeah, think you want to fuck her ex. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to see what I I'm competing against here. <laughs> and he also made sure that the parachute was like intact and stuff. So. Why didn't it work out? Um, parachute I think didn't open. Nah, she's a black widow. You yeah, know what I mean? whatever, Adam's whatever. family. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. He's dead. <laughs> Is he alive? Still? No, he's alive. He's alive. <laughs> alive and well. You think he'd be a threat? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Is he big? Could he take Jeff? Mm mm. No. no. Good. I like that. Even man. if you're lying, I like that you answered that way. He's pretty tall. <laughs> that means a lot. I know I mean, you I ladies like that. that. Because, like as I said earlier, I'm insecure, but also my ego is out of control. I know that doesn't make sense, but if you would have told me yeah, that your I mean, ex would have beat me up, that would have been a deal breaker <laughs> right there. Even if he could. I wouldn't let that happen. Even if your ex was fucking Chuck Liddell, the uh, UFC champion with the mohawk. Mm-hmm. I would want you to say that I could be Just say it to support me. You yeah. can take anybody, Jeff. You can fight anybody. You're coming to Hollywood. She's coming to Hollywood. She made it. <laughs> um, you know what's, I'll say, the plus side of looking like me is that you can just assume that your significant other knows that you can't beat anybody. So you, the you know, question doesn't even ever have to come up. So that's good. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, um, say you never had to work at another day in your life say we had unlimited money okay. you and me or just you <coughs> say you won the lottery okay what do you do 
What? I take care of my family. Everybody gets their own amount of money. I set up trust fund for my little brother, for my little sister. I'd obviously invest in stock, maybe start a business that I would want, but I dreamt of doing. I'd probably do all the things that I felt like I couldn't do. Um, yeah. Can I? Yeah. What kind take of stock? What kind of stocks are you buying? Would that? Yeah, what kind uh, of stocks? Okay. Maybe like Nasdaq, maybe Apple, maybe Nike. Somehow. Okay, so not high risk like, stuff. Tips. She's, yeah. I mean, smart. you know, I, I'm not really like delved into that world as much, but the minute you know, all that money come in, I'm like, yo, who all knows? All of a sudden, what hey, four. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I've made connections with the right people. So. I like where he said that. But where does that make us stand? Because everything you said was about other people. Or is this you going your own direction I mean, with okay. the money? Hey, my money is your money, so we would already be good. I would want to take care of your family. We, what if it we... happened right before our first date? Like you Wait, are well, on your way to our first date, and yeah. then you hear the lottery numbers, and you look at your ticket, and you're like, holy fuck, I fucking won. Fuck this stupid YouTube date. I'm out. Um, I'd be like, I'd, I'd text you like, Yo, something came up, and then I'd wire you like ten thousand or something. Like, be like, yo, just wait for me. Like, put, put a hold on it. Like, I'm like do a rain check. Let's I like that. Rain check. And At least she gave me a little TV. something. At least I eat two off that ticket. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I send you the location to my new house on the hills, and be like, pull up, like first date, let's do it again. And then I'm just a fuck boy again. I'm just a <laughs> fucking <laughs> booty call. But you know what? I respect the honesty, and you're really dope. You're really funny beautiful and you seem lucky too i think you're gonna hit lucky. start playing the lottery <laughs> that's a good no. so uh miranda i'll cut in here thank you so much for calling in is there any last message that you would like to part with uh Jeff? i actually didn't want to ask him a couple questions i didn't even go ahead then go ahead you can have a moment okay so let's say you're running a 26k you're like 25k down you're like in the lead Mm -hmm. But the Ethiopians, they're on your ass, right? You're like, the, the you Ethiopians? Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you see an old woman getting mugged. But the yeah. finish line is right there. What do you, and there's a million dollars on the line to win this marathon. Get up. Are you going to help the lady or? That's good. That's also just really smart. Like, so, she tailored that for you and it was such all a right. perfect way. That's a fucking. Yeah, you thought loaded you was going to get everybody that is a else with the questions. Now that's I'm a, coming with the questions. I know, I know. That's really good. That's a really good loaded <laughs> question. Go All right, away. look. If I'm running and I'm somehow miraculously ahead of the Ethiopians, I'm dialed in. I'm not even noticing that lady getting pummeled by those scumbags. So I would, I would, I would just continue the race because mm -hmm. you know I wouldn't, I wouldn't see her. But yeah. if I saw this old woman getting brutally beaten, and I understood what was going on. A race is a race. There'll be another one. You know, I'll save that old woman. That's good. That's good. If I see what's Trust going down. Your morality is well, at. What if you, I mean, I'm thinking about this. If you get a million bucks, you could probably even cover her medical bills. So if you hit, you That's just run through the clearing spine <laughs> and then straight to the goons. Yeah. And then you've got a million bucks. Yeah. That is nice because I would take a beat down for I need to get out like 5,000, you know? So. That's, this woman's getting half a mil. I would break her off with that's 50%. That's it, right? So maybe it's good to I'd give her 50%. I'd be like, look, lady, yeah, yeah. I watched you get fucking pummeled, but here's a half a mil. <laughs> that, that's good. Everybody wins. Yeah, and then we get a half a mil out of that, too. That's a great question. I wish that happens. Yeah, <laughs> I hope that happens that. in real life. Uh, well, that is wow. a terrific question, uh, Miranda, and we thank you for that. Yeah. Do you have any more of those? I do. I have two more if I can ask. <laughs> Let's do one more. Ask your favorite one. Okay, let's see. Um, I have a meeting at 3.30. Which, ooh, we have a lot okay. of time still. But. I have like a deep you one, and then I have it's like, like a two hours. one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize um, what time it was. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I, I know what your deep one answer would be. Um, gay son or thought daughter? <laughs> I would go Whoa. gay son. Gay son? 100%. Okay. I would want the gayest son possible. <laughs> That's I'm the gay. Be the gayest in the world. Do you want to <laughs> unpack that a little bit? Why the gay son over the thought daughter? It would just be such a headache dealing with, I'm gay. you know, seeing <laughs> my my little baby grow up and start, you know, just doing Playing nasty herself. stuff. Yeah. Well, I think the th not the really valuing herself. It, it would just it it would hurt, you know. I think the thought moniker 
suggests some kind of moral or uh, uh, wrongdoing, right? They're acting out uh, irresponsibly or immorally or something. Whereas um, being gay is to is uh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. That was your okay. That was that was. That was not my as, silly one. Yeah. Deep one okay. That's a that's a that's a good goofy one. But I'm yeah, gay. easy. You want another one, or me and I have it. One more quickly. One more. Give give me a good one. I okay. like the, I like the creativity in the first one. <laughs> okay. So like. The society we live in, we live in a digital age. We have like situationships. No one's even like claiming each other. You got dating apps, you got social media. In a world like that, do you think that like a successful true love can still happen? It's a great question. I don't know. It's up to us to find out. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you, baby. Let me know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like her. Your chances gonna are looking trouble. good, but I'm we're... not allowed to decide right now. Well, we're just having trouble because if you green like her, that's like four. All right. Okay. So, look, it's looking good for you, <coughs> but I'm not going to say anything right now, but it's looking real good. All right. It's looking okay. real good for you. Thank you so much, Miranda. A pleasure. Yeah, this was fun. <laughs> Thank you. You're getting, you're getting in the groove now, right? A little Feeling bit. A little yeah, bit? yeah. They've been all so terrific. I she mean, was, oh. yeah, that was a lot of fun, that one. She was really funny. Yeah, she was very funny, very mm -hmm. smart, mm -hmm. clever. We like that. And I mean, she's managing logistics. My goodness, lots of comings, lots of goings. Until she wins that lotto, mm. which she will. That was a good question that you gave me when you showed me the menu. Yeah, I kind of tweaked it a little. Yeah, but what was it on your? What would you do if you won the lottery? It's a good question. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Well, we'll keep them coming, because up next, <clears throat> excuse me. Megan from Los Angeles, a court reporting student. Oh, this is the one I was like, I'm going to see tonight. Okay. Megan. So here we go. Right? Is that the one? That. Yes. 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 Megan, be good, you guys. Play by the rules now. Wow. Hi, Megan. Hi. Oh, my gosh. It's hard for me to <laughs> What was that? It's actually going or not. Because I, I couldn't hear anything before you just said hi. So, hi. Hi. Nice. It's it's great to meet you. Um, is that a little dog over there? Um, What's her name? This is Ella. <laughs> wow. How old is she? Funny right now. Um, she is probably four and a half, five. I rescued her about four years ago. Part of me. You. Thank you. Oh, you rescued her. Yeah, wow, I did. Wow, that's that's really sweet. You seem very <laughs> sweet. You already know how I feel thing. about you, and and uh, you know you submitted this this video because you can him. Go ahead. Sorry, I just have a lot of distractions in front of me right oh, now. Oh, you're good. You're good. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to be here. I honestly. I submitted not really thinking anything of it. Um, this is honestly something that I would not normally do. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a little nervous. This is kind of out of my comfort Don't zone. Don't worry. I'm nervous too. I'm just as nervous as you are. Okay, right good. Now. That makes better. Um, but yeah, so I just, I applied not really thinking anything of it. And I'm glad that I'm here. I'm really excited to meet you. What made, what made you submit for, oh shit. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, no. I got a little on your phone. It's okay. It's waterproof, right? It's all right. Yeah, yeah they're already dripping now on the on the pants. Apologies. Let me take care of this for you. Sorry about that. Oh no. Um, were you gonna? Ask? Yeah, what? you saw me freak out over you last time. When I saw your video, I was like, "Oh, she's in LA. We're hanging out tonight. I'm breaking the rules. Fuck this show. Fuck Dan." So what? what uh for me to see that and not DM you um but I I don't know I felt really bad I didn't want to screw this whole thing up and I also wanted to be respectful of the other girls like I'll wait but um that's huge <laughs> I did the same thing it, it was it was very tough to not yeah. just yeah. You know, the state of mind I'm in right now and after seeing your video it, it was it was tough not to reach out but I knew that this would this day would come I know Perfect. And I wish it could have been in person, but you know, that's okay. 
so how long have you lived in LA? Um, I've been here my entire life. So I grew up in the Valley. I'm still in the Valley. Um, so I mean, I'm not, I, it, it's technically Los Angeles County. So I just say I'm from LA because everyone's like, what's the Valley? They don't really know. What, well, they know where the Valley it is, counts. but they don't know where Northridge is. So that I just counts. Say, no, you're good. You're in LA. So what did your parents do that you've lived out yeah. here for that long? Um, I saw you guys were wondering what that was and I, I wish that I could have explained it more. But um, so basically my dad was a sales manager for a car dealership for years and that was really, really stressful on him and he barely ever saw us growing up. Like he only had like one weekend off a month and he would come home at like nine o'clock at night. So. It was really hard for him and also extremely stressful. So he one day just came home and was like, I quit my job randomly. And my mom was like, well, you didn't think to, you know, talk to me about this first, but um, he just knew it was something that he had to do. And as he was thinking about what he wanted to do next, he's always been really creative. And oh, fuck, 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 sorry, shit. Almost like an inventor kind of Sorry guy. Sorry about that. Excuse me. So your dad's an inventor? Kind of. Okay, so here, let me, long story short, basically we um, make silver bars for people who invest in precious metals. Mm -hmm. It's random, but um, my dad makes all the different molds and we make like statues out of pure, pure silver. So, yeah. So <laughs> is your dad looking to... Um, is he looking to get into all that like billionaire stuff where they like mine asteroids for precious metals and stuff? Is he trying to get out? And I have metals. not heard of that. Earth metals. Earth. You haven't heard about that yet? Oh, but I'm, I'm, I wonder if he has. I'll totally ask him about ask that. Ask him. Yeah. Well, careful because cobalt's like, I guess, it, depending on who you ask, it's the same as raping a child. What? What? Sorry about that. Pretty we said the same thing. Not, at the sorry same about time. that. That's what Vouch. That's what Vouch. That's what uh, Vouch is the only one who says that. Vouch. So just be careful about the. Sorry about that. Go on, please. Excuse me. So what do you want to do? What do you want to do um, with your life? Yeah, so right now, that's what I'm doing while I'm in school, because I obviously have to make a little bit of an income while I'm doing that, um, even though that's my main priority. Um, I'm almost done with school, so I'm going to be a court reporter. I know you also oh, had a question. Oh, that's right. That. Yeah. Um, basically, it will not be shut down by AI, I promise. Um, well, how do you know this? Um, there's so many different things that... AI can't do that we can. I know that it seems really advanced, but if you think about a court setting um, and different people talking, how are they going to be able to distinguish who's the speaking at what time? Job. AI is definitely yeah, taking your job. Sorry. Yeah, listen, no, I, I, I watched a documentary uh, last night. The whole <laughs> thing, Joe Rogan was narrating it. I watched the whole thing, and then at the very end, I found out that it was jo Joe Rogan's voice was AI. It wasn't even <laughs> him. That's <laughs> awesome. Let me ask you a question. So if if AI, if it's set up to be what, a microphone, what what happens if you can't hear the person? Like say a witness is kind of quiet or if they have an accent or something and it's not picked up through the recording and it can't process it, that could completely destroy a transcript that can be used on appeal. If court cases are really extremely important. That's like somebody freedom on the line um if you're in a in a criminal case so yeah having, having a mistake in a transcript is a huge thing yeah so court reporters not only do all the transcripts and they're able to account they have to say wait i didn't get that can you repeat that or sometimes attorneys want things to be read back on the record like what was that question that i asked before and you have to re-repeat re it for them or oh so you need to be like dialed in the whole time you can't just be over there just yeah. kind of like you know, Unlike computers. looking at TikTok and stuff. I'm sorry. So you oh. must be a fast typer. Yeah, I am. I'm at 200 words per minute. Damn! <laughs> Ain't no fucking robot typing oh, that man. speed. Yeah. Hell no, we don't All have that right. technology. I'm sure maybe one day, if technology can get that advanced and it can kind of be tailored to be what you need it to be, maybe. <laughs> but they've been talking about this for years. Um, it was also a concern of mine before I went into it, um, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Also, yeah. we're, we get to swear in people on the record, too, so that's also part of it. Uh, uh, so you need a human for that. Yeah. What's a hot take you have? What's a hot take you have is what Ethan would like me to ask you. 
A hot take. Thank you. Maybe, that is a great maybe. question. You don't like it? Um, I don't even know what that means. You, you don't know what a hot take is? No. Okay. It's like a risk. It's like uh, yeah. here. This is a controversial, but I'm gonna say it. Oh right, yeah, give me a hot <clears> take. <throat> okay. Um, I hate sushi. That's a, that's pretty good. Hot wow. Take. Right. I'm with you, girl. <laughs> Overrated. What what's your problem with sushi? <laughs> no, I just I don't I don't know if it's the texture or like the taste. I there's something about like fish and just fishiness that. Just, I, so what about cooked fish? Uh, it's a little bit better. It's oh my god. Bit. Wait, sorry to interrupt. You're the only yeah. other person I've ever met in my life that has the same weird seafood aversion as I do. Because everybody okay, loves that shit. Yeah, and everyone thinks I'm crazy. But She's it's got just... a good opinion on seafood, Jeff. The puffer fish. Look, that's okay. I, I don't care about food uh, really <laughs> much at all. I like a lot of other things. So, well, we can find it. I'm sure. Alright, great. Well, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> Look, this show is coming to an end soon. You know, fuck. Yeah, it. we uh, we we are not going to be cutting any any ladies at this rate. I mean, we love them, but golly, she was. All right. Well, what can we say when golly. Megan, someone as lovely and local as Megan, shows up? Thank you. Megan, whether the show goes, you know, the way that they want it to go or not, you and me are going to have some fun. You know, we're gonna we're gonna meet up in real life eventually. Is that a sexual innuendo? No, we're gonna go okay. we're gonna go uh I, I was making that clear for you. It's interesting. Yeah. I wasn't mean I wasn't I wasn't yeah, saying I that. So. No, I, I was just saying like we're gonna like maybe go to the flea market and go shopping That's for fun. vintage clothing or something. That wow. on a nice That's Sunday. A great date. We could walk around over there. You, you know? know what you're doing. Maybe we could go to Venice Beach. You know, I could get you a little, I get you a little, I could rent you a bicycle with a little basket and you could put your little pup in the basket and I can run next to you. And we could oh get a speaker and we could play uh, the Rocky soundtrack. Let's do it. Let's do it. Or we can go roller skating. I like roller skating. I don't know if you've yeah, ever Yeah, we can go roller skating. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is phenomenal. Okay, Megan, don't reach out, okay? You'll be shunned. I won't reach out, but you can. You'll be shunned by the community, <laughs> Megan. We love you, though, if you reach out. Bye, All right, bye, you. Megan. Shame. See you tonight. Wow. What do you think, Jeff? You got to be feeling good. I mean, what a, feeling what a great. lineup. Yeah, I'm feeling the best I've ever felt in my life. You should be. This is the peak. They're you know you know uh, when uh, Christopher's like, where's my arc? You know, like everybody's got an arc. You watch a movie. Mm -hmm. Who's you know Christopher? what I'm talking about, Christopher Zach? Christopher Maltesanti. Is this a Soprano thing? Yeah. Oh. Where's my arc? I know this what you're is talking your about. Arc. This is your this arc. is my arc right here. I'm living it. Well, you should be because I gotta say, each one of these dates has been a knockout, and um, bottom line, I'm feeling there's a lot of chemistry happening. I know, and it's not faked. I I kind of I, I might seem a little sarcastic. That's just because I was like deflecting and I was like insecure, so I was like, let me make a joke out of this. But as we go. You know, further into the dates, I'm getting more comfortable and starting to become real. That this is phenomenal. Yeah, I yeah, like that she doesn't like seafood. I don't. Can know why I get that. some more spaghetti? Well, uh, sure. We can we can arrange that for you, buddy. So up next, we have another Lo Los Angelin. Wow. This you guys really didn't want to. You really didn't want to break into that budget for those flights here in Los Angeles. <laughs> well, you're right. There are quite a few from LA. Although I think that is our biggest contingency of uh, audience is our most populous city. Really? Is LA, yeah. Um, <sighs> up next is Morgan from LA. She's 27 and she's a writer. She's a writer. A creative Perfect. Endeavor. I need ideas. She was the one who uh, did the song. <laughs> you know, yesterday I got a package from Mr. Beast. I got one of those. The Did you get one? Bars. The chocolate bars, right? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, it's a little sketchy, like this this logo, this fucking demon logo, the beast, the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. So I open it up. We and my friends, we started eating the candy. We're like, all right, yeah, it's chocolate, you know, cool. And then we look inside, like the fancy packaging, mm -hmm. and there was a recording device in there. Really, I didn't find that. Get the thing, open it up. There's a fucking recording device in there, 
And I know what he's trying to do. I know how Mr. Beast does his shit. He goes to creative YouTubers, sends them stuff. So it's sitting in their house as you're brainstorming ideas. He's like, oh yeah, Ethan's about to do this shit. And then he does it first. And then he gets all the views. Gotta be illegal. That has to be illegal. We're bugged. That's not a PR box. We're fucking bugged. Oh my God. Yeah. Because I was like, why is he sending me PR? I always just talk shit on his products. (laughs) But I'll say this. I'll be straight up with you guys. The new box, he got a new formula, and I'm. You guys know me. I'll I'll speak my mind on the beast. That chocolate was slapping hard. Really? Okay. It is better. The new formulation is really good. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe he took your feedback into account because yeah, you were shitting on the old Mr. Beast bars. They weren't. They weren't they good enough. But they the new ones good. are. They're yeah. good. It was like YouTuber chocolate. This was like Hershey's. It tasted quality. It did. It really did. The only thing I don't like was the recording. I gotta look them for trying that. to. Just, just when I get home, I'm gonna open. look for that. We got bugged. All right, up next is Morgan, the writer from L.A. Let's bring her on. Can you find me something funny? To... You're... Hello? Morgan. Up Hi. Wow. Hi. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, I'm did sure... Dan say something? I'm sure from the look on my face right now, you could already tell that I'm so excited for this one. You are. I, this, this is crazy. Yeah, I know, right? It is this nuts. This is the most nervous I've been Watch it with those glasses. If you spill again, pal, yeah. you're done here. You're done in this restaurant. Oh, you're going to be looking for a job somewhere else. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's one. I'll get you another glass. I'll get Bottom you another line glass. is you cannot you be You spilled the wine all in the spaghetti. I'm going to need a whole nother spaghetti now. Okay. My apologies, sir. Can we get another spaghetti, please? Bottom line is you cannot be trusted. So listen, Megan. <coughs> this guy's a fucking wannabe writer Morgan. over here. He does this waiter stuff part-time. But it, M- Morgan, Morgan, sorry. That's why. Yeah. I said, yeah. What did you call it? Brain damage. I brain, I brain okay. damage. What I just smashed her fucking crane. Um, oh, okay. Wayne fucking smashed him right in his ass. So, <laughs> yeah, so you're a writer. You made a beautiful song. Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm Apologies. Gonna fucking, I'm going to fucking snap. You know what? This is bad. Look, I have anger problems. You should know this about me. I'm working on controlling them. <laughs> it's not going good. Oh, good, don't good, don't good, leave good, me good, with good. anger problems. Okay. I'm just being I honest. I love it when people have anger problems. Okay. Okay. You look great. Your hair is beautiful. Thank you. Oh. Here you go. If you, you spill that <laughs> fucking spaghetti, I'm gonna tackle too. you. I'm not gonna spill. <laughs> All uh-huh. right. So you made a beautiful song. Bow wow wow. Very yes. creative. Bow, I love bow, bow, I love bow. I love your creativity. Um, the assless chaps. Thank that you. was that was funny. You're the fan yep, favorite. Yep. And you're... They were blurred in the video. Oh, uh, were they? No, aw. I don't think they were. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. The, you're, the, the fucking sprinklers are going to go off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Sorry about that. Because that might be a real issue it's... with all this technology, all this gear. Oh, you my... might just... Right at... You have to do it during this day. What the <laughs> Apologies. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So you write you write comedy. <laughs> Do you write mostly comedy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, not I would say at this I used to mostly do comedy at this point. I mean, so I have, you know, a day job and shit, but I do um I'm writing a book right now, like I said in the video, and that's like a high fantasy kind of thing and it's mostly it comedy, but it's got book? a lot of drama it's got a lot of yeah 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 uh, uh fantasy fiction book wow that's about so dogs cool. in heaven about dogs in heaven <laughs> yeah. damn that yeah. sounds that sounds really good yeah that sounds like somebody yeah. would pick that up and buy it and yeah. publish it or turn it into a movie you like dogs i freaking hope so i love dogs more than any Anybody. Do you have a I, dog? I, I don't have one, but I like dogs more than anybody. Wait, what? I wish I did. Yeah, dogs are I the don't best. Have why don't you have a dog? Well, yeah, why don't you have a dog if you love them so much? Is it because you have to work a lot? Yeah, well, it's, 
like it wouldn't fit my lifestyle right now. I feel like with a dog, you have to like, you can't be as spontaneous as you could with a dog. Yeah. You couldn't just decide to go out all of a sudden, you know, you have to worry about feeding the dog and stuff like that. So, you, you know, know what? I love dogs enough to, to know that I shouldn't have one. Can I ask you a question? Does she, is she, does I she would have said the same thing. If you would have asked me, like, why don't I have a dog? I'd be like, I don't know right now, you know? But that's pretty much why for me, too. Jeff. Yeah. I had a dog for 17 years. I had a French bulldog, and he was my best friend. The guy came oh. with me everywhere, you know? French and, bulldogs are crackheads. Yeah, you feel, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Nothing like it. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's hard to find somebody that will live up to to him to find another dog and also i do like being spontaneous Aww. and traveling and you know randomly doing some fun stuff Jeff, how yeah. is she gonna, how's she gonna have kids if she's not ready for it yeah dog? yeah how but this one thing does concern me um how would you eventually have kids if you don't have the time for a dog right Good question. because kids are, are a lot more of a responsibility uh, to one day have more of a chill life but i also wasn't lying in the video when i said i do see myself as being like a stepmom oh she doesn't want um, when i when i picture my future i picture myself with like a teenager you know and like giving them advice and <laughs> you just want to go straight life. to teenager yeah and me too knows, i'm like i'm only <laughs> I, I want <laughs> yeah, like a rebellious like, teenage like son already that... i could change my mind but I catch smoking cigarettes and I'm like, what the fuck yeah. are you doing? Fucking smack the cigarette. <laughs> yeah, I was a teacher. <laughs> I was a teacher for a while and I loved the like middle school kids. And a lot yeah. of those kids are like the other teachers like least favorite, but I just, they're so the angry and I know how to, I know what it's like to be so angry. Wait, so why'd you stop the teaching job? Uh, it was, so I moved to LA. So and it, uh, it doesn't. Pay apologies that much for the. Is that Febreze? Be, being a teacher is really hard. Apologies least, for the smell. A lot of them Sorry quitting. about that. It's okay. Sorry, I missed your answer. I was doused in the face with Febreze. Can... <laughs> it's okay. Well, the <laughs> so the question it was why did I stop teaching? Uh, uh, there's a reason. There's like a mass you know, all of them quitting. Being a teacher is really hard. Um, it's- Great and all those papers. Uh, it's really underpaid, really overworked, very emotionally taxing. So, yeah. Yeah. I didn't, where I worked, I didn't have to grade papers, but yeah. It's not like you had a relationship with one of your students or anything like that, right? Part of my race? <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. My friend, <laughs> oh my this God. one of my friends from my hometown in Staten Island got his high school teacher pregnant. He was a legend. He was a legend. Stop oh that. Stop that. Oh my god. Um, so you wanted to do something more, why, more creative. Excuse me, sir. No, it's, no, it's a liability. It's a liability. This is my building. It's my studio. Unless you're afraid of fire, I'm going to set this fucking thing on fire. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go, my, my apologies. Um, welcome to Hollywood. You're, com you're coming out to Hollywood. Oh, you, no, you that's won. why I'm ready. <laughs> you, won. you won the whole competition already. <laughs> You are perfect, <laughs> wow. inside and out. Wow! I That's love your sweet. hair. It's like sort of like a little, oh, thank you. Like it's like a silly thank cut, you. kind of, but like in, in a in a cute way. I, I. It's almost like a mullet, kind of. I cut kinda. it myself with a mullet. Yeah, well, like varying with, degrees of success. With the, with the bangs, I love the bangs. <laughs> Can we see the back, please? Yeah, bangs. My my. Uh. Mm. Oh, we that, don't. that makes me nervous because that's a true yeah. test of if I did a good job because I literally did it with a mirror just like snipping. Oh, she did good. Yeah, it looks so, good. You, girl. It yeah, looks you good. Did. You did good. Okay. I, just one question. Just one. That was really just, vulnerable. Just, I just have me, one more question so. for you. What do you like about me? Because you seem too, yeah. just too cool for like, you just seem like you're too good for me. Too cool. Yeah. What do you see uh. in me? <laughs> I don't think I'm too cool for you. Um, I mean, <laughs> you're really hot. <laughs> you're, um, you have a podcast. That feels I'm good, like right? a huge Found podcast it. junkie. I listen to 
podcast like most of the day, probably. Um, I don't know. I love your your accent. I love accent. that you're doing a lot of cool shit all the time. It sounds very intoxicating. And I don't know. I love dark hair and oh my god, mustaches. <laughs> you were to shave all of this and like just keep this. You want me to do just a mustache? That'd be like it for me. Okay. He's already trying to change you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll con I'll consider it. But yeah. Someone save me. Ah, uh, cool. Podcast you listen to? Yeah. What podcast do you listen to besides this one? Ooh. She can say this one. Uh. I, like I just started listening to Cancelled and Jeff FM. Nice. Oh, duh. Um, <laughs> H three, of course. Um, Dr. Romney. Um. All the crack.com old podcasts, the Ned's the Classified podcast, Big Feet, um, even more news, Radio Lab. Wow, she does listen well, to Well, um, you do, yeah, you do listen to a lot of podcasts. Little, like a lot. Like I, yeah. could, I could go on, but yeah. hey, like. You like times. Tana? And then you like, all the YouTube video essays, too. You said you just started listening to I Tana love and Tana. Brooke. She's uh, so canceled. funny. She is. She, she is really funny. Yeah, I started listening after it. Yeah, after Steamies, I started listening to Tana. Wow, look at that. Oh, you're the only one. Yeah, yeah, you thought yeah, you bombed it? Yeah, I knew, I, I yeah. knew that wasn't all bad for her. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was dope that she got all wasted and fucked I, the whole show up. I can't say a bad word about her. I mean, I could, but not about that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's she is so funny. Um, how are do you, you feel about, about uh, can, can I butt in here? Morgan, are you worried about his relationship with Tana at all? That's what I was going to say, but, you know. No. Whatever, he's my wingman. Are you worried that... I don't know. Maybe... Well, it didn't, didn't seem like there's anything... They are pretty close. I don't close. sense, like, a... I think men and women can be close friends without it being, you know, kissy smoochy. Yeah. What's your argument? Well, some people... Some... Uh, not to yeah. be crude, but... Um, no, you know what? I'm not going to be crude. Please, I mean, please. You win. Um, is there time for me to to oh. ask any questions? Quickly, or please, is it, please hit us with it. I don't know how long I've been going. You're good. Go um, ahead. Um. Okay, I had a long question, but I'll go with my. Oh, okay. Here, this is like a fun question I like to ask at parties. It is a bit of a setup, so bear with me. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's say a good friend of yours. Calls, uh, he's in a, let's say Ethan, he's in a car accident, mm -hmm. he's fine. Am I wearing a St. Christopher medal? <laughs> <Metallic? laughs> no. I knew, what you, I knew <coughs> Is he wearing a St. Christopher sure. medal? They do have to amputate his foot. Okay. Yes. It's very important. <laughs> um, he gives you a call a few weeks later. He says, okay, I made all the right calls. I talked to doctors. I made sure that it's medically safe. I've hired a personal chef. We're gonna, I'm gonna throw a party. We're gonna cook and eat my foot. We're gonna have foot tacos. Mm. Do you participate in that party? Do you eat one of the foot tacos? And does it change your answer if it's thigh instead of foot? Um, the short answer to that is no. I would not eat a human unless I, I needed to. Either. You know, even to survive, I would not eat <laughs> Ethan's foot. But if he called me and told me that story, and he'd be like, look, man, I fucking all this shit just happened to me, I would be like, oh, do you need a hand? And then he'd be like, no, I need a foot. Sorry, that's a bad joke. Good. I'm, I'm trying my best here. I'm nervous. You're, in, you're good. That's right up your alley. What? I said, it's someone who's lost an eye, nearly. Oh. That's right up your alley. Yeah. One eye, yeah. one foot. We'd be, we, we'd be trauma bonding. Yeah. Good question. Do you have blue eyes? Well, well, hold on. Would you? I do. No, no, no. That's, would you eat would the I? foot? No. God, no. Okay, because I mean, you threw me, because no, you kind of expected of me to- No, the eating a human, like, revolts me. <clears throat> so what's the question? You expecting people to say but, yes? But it's- A lot of people say no, but if the question is changed to thigh instead of foot, change their answer to yes. What? I watched that movie on Netflix like with all those guys that, like, were on the plane and, and it crashed, and then they had to eat their friends. And I was like, at the end of it, I was like, why the fuck did I just watch that? Yeah, it's a good it's, question. Do you watch it too? Depressing. I haven't seen it, but I've heard enough yeah. about cannibalism stories. No, it's, I haven't seen it. It's, it's the worst depressing. thing ever. Yeah, very depressing. 
Don't watch it. <laughs> Anybody out there, don't watch it. Yeah. Uh, so no, I wouldn't eat the person, yeah. but I'd survive somehow. That's what yeah. I, I figure shit out. I'll get it done. I'll make sure we survive <laughs> if we were in that plane crash. Well, that's good. Yeah. All right. Is that is that all your questions? Because I'm I'm sold. You're coming to Hollywood, oh even though you're already um, here. We're gonna have a full house. <laughs> Another question again, if we have time. Um, Go so ahead, last me, one. You know, you're uh, you're kind of a star. Um, so I guess I kind of need to like bring things down to earth a little bit. So I'm curious if there's anything maybe that you're bad at, like like a t like a skill. Or something that you're like, I am just not a natural at this. To me, I don't know. Yeah. Just kind of. Yeah, I'm bad at a lot know. of shit. Bring down. Can you I have. Uh, <laughs> well, like you heard earlier, I have anger problems, but I'm, I've worked very hard to learn to manage them in healthy ways of just breathing exercises. Are you angry yeah. at me for real? Huh? Was I getting mad at you for real? Yeah. Yeah. Are you really mad at me? Yeah, I was fucking mad. Oh, no. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Okay. Look at this candle. Sense. You're very still, sarcastic. It's still lighting that it, rose on fire. Catch on fire. It would have been so funny. Paul, yeah. Morgan. I didn't mean. No, uh, I think the things I'm 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 the worst that is. I just spend a lot of time on on like fitness stuff, health stuff. I work out a little too much. And my guys tell me they're like, "Yo, we need a podcast. You're out running too much." He can't too like, much. But I'm like, you know, I just, I just want to inspire people. You know, you guys don't fucking get it. Get back to editing. You know, and that could type humble. That's pretty much it. I'm just, like a... I just put. I'm just too. I'm just too hard of a worker, and I'm too loyal. <laughs> I'm too loyal to people, which is actually a problem that I have. Yeah. Um, He's you know. too. You know what? That's one of the best yeah. answers you could give. I mean, it's Ethan true. might fuck me over. Why? Soon, you know? Why would Who I knows? do that? Imagine you make me fall in love with I'm all these sick. girls, and then you just like, ah, the show's not doing good numbers wise, so it's canned. Yeah, and then I'm. You still got the connection. They all want to talk to you. You won't allow me to have connections. If the show gets. What's your canceled, phone number? If that. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Don't answer that. <laughs> if the show gets canceled, We're gonna you think the rules are off. Yeah. But the show's not canceled. Why would they? I'm a, I'm got the budget. How's the ratings, Dan? The ratings are good. Don't worry about the ratings. The show's a hit. The batch yeah. thriller is a hit. I I can't deny that. Okay. Just a bit. All right. <laughs> We're doing good. I'm excited. I you're gonna be in. You're gonna be in it. I'm not allowed to say it now, but you're gonna be in it. Yeah. Yes. Well, Morgan. And the other girls are so great. What? Yeah, they're great. It's so fun to watch. But you're better. The other girls are you're so better. great and beautiful. Yeah. Are they watching too? <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Still be fuck, watching. Fuck, Mike's still fuck. Be watching. Damn, this is just going to expose me so much. No, you're good. You're good. Just getting excited. <sighs> I get the same way. I'm also, you know, yeah. I, I've been completely like, I haven't even seen women in months. So. You celibate. I'm a little uh, overly excited. Doesn't even jerk <laughs> off, apparently. Not a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that? Uh, I, I like a, I like a, a, a gay man. I don't know. Yeah, she, a gay <laughs> man? A, yeah. Oh, a virile. She likes a, Get, a giddy. A giddy, giddy. giddy. I like gay men too, but I could I be a little gay. gay. Some people said I, I took gay. a test online but, one time and it said I was 12%. Oh, I'm 15. You're 50? 15. Oh, 12%. big difference there. I'm 15 gay, and 50 Some sound gay alike. Gay. And I was, yeah. No, there is, yeah. I'm, I'm bisexual, 15. basically, is what I'm you just 15. said. I'm part of the community. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. Yeah. I'll be a little gay if right. you want. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, uh, Morgan. It's been a joy. It's been a privilege. a privilege. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. And you've won the hearts yeah, and the minds. You. And, uh, Thanks so much for this opportunity. Thank, so thank nice you for, for doing it. Thank you. Yeah. I'm All so right. excited for our next yeah. time. Right, thank Morgan. you. We continue to ride high. All right. Oh, so. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> she is. I got it. You like Morgan? Yeah. What do you like about her? She's just silly and fun and yeah. like just good energy. Great. Just like I, I could just talk to her forever. You yeah. Know? Good rapport. Yeah. And it's not like, like, you know how the other girl had the St. Laurent bag in the back? You know, like she had like a nice expensive designer bag that was probably gifted to her by a man. You okay. know. Hold on. 
Okay, go on, go on. I won't. Curse. Like I feel like she don't even care about that shit. She doesn't care about bags. She you like just, that? She just like at a flea market picking up assless chaps for a video. I was wearing that because she wants to be. That was, that was yeah. part of the. She song. just wants to be creative and make people laugh, and she's just a really kind person. And I, I would love to get a dog with her or something. You know, maybe we could. <laughs> we got fucking money. We'll get a nanny for the dog. Yeah. We'll get somebody to. We'll, get a we'll, dog sitter. Wag. We'll get that app. Yeah, there it is. Wow. Stop wow. That. Yeah, so we'll, we'll pay somebody to walk the fucking dog. But this is so exciting. I, I, this is going better than I expected, frankly. It's fantastic. It, it really fantastic. is. Now that we've gotten into this. So what? I said, now that we've gotten into this, it's going great. <laughs> I got to say, it's even Dan has been silenced over there. Yeah. Yeah, Dan. He Told you. in love all of a sudden. Told you. <laughs> I have high hopes for this. We're on to something here. We talked here. about it last time. We talked about it last time. I was a hater before the show started, but now that we're here, I'm all in. And what Man. I was saying earlier was just because, you know, I was worried about it all falling apart again. What's the deal with you being a hater with all these silly goofs coming over here and trying to sabotage oh, my boy. dates? You see, I'm already struggling. I'm not sabotaging. I'm trying to... I'm trying you to, see my fucking pit sweating? I'm, I'm, I'm struggling, like, bro. Your life condition. You're pouring wine. I, I did not pour Lighting wine me on. on fire. Spraying Febreze in my mouth. You sprayed Febreze in my mouth. Well, I'll send it for dry cleaning. You sprayed Febreze in my bad <laughs> eye. You got grape juice. That's good if I use that okay. one on you, huh? I did not. <laughs> you, I did fucking, not. <laughs> you sprayed Febreze right in my fucking eye. Oh, God. I didn't okay. do that. Okay, it just smelled bad because something caught on fire, which also wasn't my fault. Real okay. world conditions. Ethan. It's not your fault. All right, up next we have Ashley, who's a lawyer. Ooh, scary. And she's from Houston. Nice. Close. Another Texas. But not. Yeah. We like Texans. We love the Texans, actually. I dated a girl from Texas once. How was that go for you? She was very sweet. Nice. Until yeah. it gets hot in Texas. So with all that being said, let's talk to our wonderful lawyer, Ashley, from Houston. Uh, before she, before we start the date, can I just get can I just get a little more spaghetti first? I got you. Thank you. It also wasn't my fault. This one got a little bit of non-alcoholic wine in it. All right, and here we are. The sauce. Wow. Hello, Ashley. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I huh? did lose my place a little bit, but I'm still here. I'm committed. Sorry, what? What? I was distracted by Ethan. What did? <laughs> I said I lost my voice a little bit, but I'm still here. I'm committing. Okay. Apo apologies. Oh, apologies. so last time I commented on your tan, and today it does not look... Yes. You, your skin looks perfect today. I, I apologize Thank for that you. last time. Yeah. So, the chat was, like, tearing my ass apart, so I tried to change the fuck light. Fuck the chat. They, had, like, blackout curtains in my yeah, room. Yeah, you can say that. You're absolutely right. Fuck the chat. If I was reading that right now, it would give me a mental breakdown, and I'd have to I'd have to leave. Yeah, you know? fuck the chat. They're, fuck the so, chat. they're so mean. They're, they're probably here. saying he's a, he's a misogynist. Why doesn't he, you know, date the girl that I, they want me to date? Because it's me. The rest of my fucking life, I have. They to want to decide who what's best for you. I yeah. agree. Fuck the. You chat. also said you don't want to have you, you don't want to have kids, right? I did not say that. I think uh, maybe you misinterpreted a little bit. Sorry, I've been dating that. a lot of women. It's and I no, have bad okay. memory I already. A lot of us eligibles. That's crazy. I, I get to say that on a date. Like, sorry, I've been dating a lot of women. Part of the game. This show's wild. Honestly. This I get why it's a hit now. Uh huh. Yeah, I just said if I do have kids, then I definitely have to really trust the person. And I know Ethan was kind of speculating on maybe why that is. Um, I kind of debated back and forth how vulnerable I wanted to be on here, but since you're putting yourself out there, I really respect you for that. Um, the truth is, my dad was an abusive alcoholic, oh, so wow. it's really important to me. Like, I never want to put another human in that situation. I never want to be the reason for someone else's pain. Um, I'm not against having kids. I, I love kids, and kids love me. It's just one of those things that I want to make sure it's the right person in the right time. <clears throat> Beautiful answer. That is really <laughs> vulnerable. Yeah. That is wonderful. Thank you for sharing that with us. <laughs> yeah, wow. I mean, it's not wonderful it happened, just to be clear. It's wonderful that yeah. you felt confident to share What's it. your dog's name? Yeah. Louie. Louie? Yeah. <laughs> it's a boy? He wants a dad. <laughs> he wants a dad? Yeah, How old is he? 
He's three years old right now, and he's a rescue. And do you take care of him fully? It doesn't affect your work schedule and stuff? You no, just make that's sacrifices? my best friend. He's priority. You know what I'm saying? That's better, my best friend. Better than the lat, the lat, I guess, you know? Good. Good. Yeah. And I do want to clarify, too, when I say I need to trust the person, it's um not really like a trust issues in the sense that I ever feel like someone's fooling around. It's really what I look for in a partner is I need that camaraderie. Like I need someone that's my best friend that I know is going to be back at the end of the day no matter what. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of interested. Shit. What do you feel like has been Shit. really lacking Fuck. from your past Sorry, relationship? It's a small hole. Lacking uh, my past relationships. I just wasn't, I never found the right the right match and also I, I put a lot of it on myself for just not being in the right headspace and my life was you know my career and everything was all over the place and then the accident and it set me back a lot so I wasn't really dating in between all the surgeries and shit so I, I don't know I just like now I'm finally getting back to myself I feel and um, yeah. I'm able yeah. to be that that guy that you're looking for that you could trust and I could take care Essentially. of that dog. I would love taking care of that dog. We get a bunch of them. Might <laughs> we'll as well. If we gotta walk one dog. Why not walk three? You know. Yeah. It what could is that, be a family out. You know? Are you putting cinnamon on the on the spaghetti? I thought it was parmesan. Where the fuck is brown parmesan? When have you ever seen brown parmesan? I don't know a lot about food. He put cinnamon all over the fucking spaghetti. <laughs> Sorry about that. Do you want me to uh, take it back? Do you want a new really plate? Send it back. Send it back. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. So no Parmesan? No, no. Move? That's not Parmesan. <laughs> Unbelievable. The service here. Yeah, I know. At least all our future dates can only go up from here, you know? Yeah. So where in Texas are you again? Houston, Texas, baby. Houston. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's where my ex it's was from. Peter falling out here. That's why I sound like a seventy-year-old smoker. But you know. Why did you lose your voice? The cedar trees, like the pollen and everything, just like crazy right now. So it's just allergies. Oh, we got to get you out of there. We got to get you I out know. to Hollywood. Hollywood. I think our next move might be Vegas. You want to move to Vegas? Like I'm just saying, if we get married, possibly. Why is it because it's it, why Jack why Kennedy? Vegas? Why oh well, you want to you just want to go to get married or do you want to live there? Is it because the no, property? No, no. I think I think it would be a fun a fun date trip, like kind of meet in the middle, you know. Oh, I thought you were talking about tax purposes or <laughs> you know, maybe there's you. No, there is no, no uh, state tax there. Income. There is no state income tax, I need the and, and uh, the economy's booming over there. Vegas is doing great. They're just importing all these sports teams. So uh, let's mm -hmm. move to Vegas together. Got the eyeball. All right. They got the eye. No, sorry, I didn't mean the like dome? that. I didn't mean like that. The Apologies. dome? It's never been called an eyeball. I thought it was the eyeball. <laughs> it's never been referred to <laughs> as an that. eyeball. I it's always been called the dome. I thought it was the eyeball. For what it's worth, you have beautiful the eyes. The sphere. I'm not even, I didn't even say it right. It's the sphere. The, right. It's not the Apologies. eyeball. Apologies. Sorry, what was your question? <laughs> No, no, no. I said, for what it's worth, you have beautiful eyes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. She got stuck. A crane fucking stuff. smashed right <laughs> in his head. You do too. <laughs> Thanks, but love. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I thought, I thought you were just lying for a second. I thought you were lying no, about absolutely my not. eyes. Just saying I'm that sure. to, to make me feel better. But it's okay if you tell like a little white lie just to make your partner feel better. You know. no, 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 If I have a man, I'm gonna hype him up regardless. Nice. So if my eye was fucking hanging out, you'd be like, "Yo, your fucking eyes hanging You're out." You're great, babe. I'm killing it. <laughs> all right, all right. That's that's good. That's good. I mean, obviously, like get you checked out first. If yeah. Actually Let's get you to it. an emergency room. But I'd that be baby there is hanging on by a thread. I'd hold your hand. Like we'd be good. It's all good. All right. Wow. I, my, my, my question list is, is done. Do you want to offer a rose? Yeah, uh... Wait one sec. Oh, fuck, shit. Sorry about that. Fuck. Sorry. I'm glad we're getting over all these little awkward things in the beginning, you know? Yeah, me too. That way we can really enjoy <sighs> each other's company. Sorry. You okay? Do you need a napkin? What's your ideal first date? Get the fuck out of here. Stop. Get the f I'm good. I'm good. I need to wait. Yeah. 
Because it's only up from here. A dinner? You know? Like, but like yeah. being out. Of... Okay. Yeah. So he this on a show, on a live show in front of millions of people. I wouldn't say that part. Don't I'm not uh, kind of like private yeah. on all. My... <laughs> More lighter foot. Yeah. But, but I really respect you for putting yourself out there, and I think you're super handsome. And so I wanted to put myself out there too. Well, <coughs> same to you, and I think you're beautiful. <laughs> And I would love to go on another date, but oh, I, I can't say right now. Here, offer her a rose. Yeah. Offer her a rose. Uh, but I would like to give you this rose. Thank you, a flaming rose. Yes, this is for you. Oh, uh, I don't know what that means for our relationship. Passion. It could mean a couple of things. It Passion. means Fire. Depending on how you look <laughs> at it. Okay. Okay, Ethan. Okay. You guys are doing really good, by the way. <laughs> now, don't you fucking spray me with that. Don't you fucking... You're going to spray me with a fire extinguisher? I didn't do anything. What are you talking That's about? That's ridiculous. If I get doused and fucking... I'm going to be pissed I'm not doing that. shit to you, man. Just stop. Just enjoy your meal. What the fuck? All right, listen. You're coming out to Hollywood on Ethan's credit card. Um, I can't wait to see you again. And your skin looks great. I think it was Thank just um, the, the camera settings or something. That you had. Yeah, the pink Teddy Fresh sweater might have did it too. Yeah, you know? well, she's an attorney. I wanted to actually know more about her. Oh yeah, let's talk about that. You being an oh, attorney. Yeah. Just curious, my, for my own. So you're in law Not school, or attorneys? Are you? I was a legal intake specialist and legal assistant for a family law firm. Since applying for this, I have changed career paths. Oh, okay. I'm now working at a med spa slash oncology office. So it's like a husband and wife doctor and. They're in the same building, but one's an oncologist and one like more so runs the meds. Are they spot. getting their hands on like all peptides and Ozempic and shit like that? Because they, you they... know, it, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, there are certain things you can take to lose weight and everything, but I think that's more like a LA thing. Yeah, my my friend's dealing it. That's why I had to leave <laughs> oh, yeah. this morning. So you got to go pick up. Yeah, go re up. That's the best. Yeah. So no more. Uh, cool. That's I, I mean, fuck it. Whatever makes you happy. You know, uh, yeah. and being a lawyer kind of sounds boring sometimes anyway. Let's go. You know. Yeah, well, I really like the job, <laughs> but the family law, is, it's kind of hard sometimes, you know? Yeah. <coughs> Unless you had, like, one of those shows, like Judge Judy, then it would be fun. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ashley, do you, have any, um, time. do you have any questions for Jeff before we say goodbye? I actually or anything do. You want to say. So, I know I mentioned in my submission video that I really like to work out. I didn't have time to say that um, the reason it's such a big part of my life is I actually lost 100 pounds. Oh, my um, goodness. I in high school and then going into college. I got my personal trainer certification while I was in college. And I competed bikini division for NPC bodybuilding. Wow. And I know that I love working out. It's such a big part of my life. And it sounded silly that I kept saying that. But the reason is because it's I've learned all my best life lessons from that. So aside from the physical benefits of working out, why is working out and staying healthy so important to you? Wow. Wow. Wonderful. Before I answer that, I just want to commend you on, on your explanation because earlier I had a, a girl on here that was like, I did box. I do boxing. I was like, what? So you had a fight? So you had like, what level? Why? You know? <laughs> You lost a hundred pounds, yeah. And then That's you crazy. competed in a, a uh, like a bodybuilding competition. Yeah. How'd you do that? Just so I just got a trainer, um, learned nutrition and health, and went from there. It took me a really long time. Like I did it slowly uh, while I was in college. So that's why, you know, like a lot of people can't usually tell just looking at me that I've been through that. But it was one of the hardest things that I've been through. It definitely taught me a lot about dedication, commitment, and um, just a lot of life lessons that I learned in the gym. Like, you can really set your mind to anything if you really want to. So yeah. I didn't know if there was anything. Because I'm interested in learning how to run. I've never been a runner, <laughs> but I've been your journey. And good luck on your race, by the way. But, oh, thanks. Um, you have a race coming up? Yeah. I'm going to do the LA Marathon. Oh, she knew that. She has. She knows stuff I don't. Yeah, I posted on Instagram the other day that I'm, I'm going to do it. Nice. Good luck. Uh, thanks. <laughs> you Ab should do it with me. Absolutely. You could do I'll it. I'll be there. 
Um, but so the question was, why do I, what, what do I love about, why is it such a big part of my life? Yeah. Why do you love it? Like, what have you learned from me? Um, I, I do it mostly cause I'm fucked in the head a little bit and like, I, like my brain's always going crazy and I use running sort of as like meditation, but I tried yeah. meditating, just sitting there and, and I'm like, this is fucking dumb. Uh, but I, I've tried it and it has worked, but I just need to like, just go out and do something hard. And also what we do for work here, it's sort of fun when things are going good. So I like yeah. to do something hard so I could feel the, the physical labor of the working man. Cause that's who I relate to the most. Mm. I think they got it the hardest. <laughs> Me too. I wish I had a fucking job as an oil rigger. Yeah. Or a coal miner. Yeah. Take that, Hassan. <laughs> you wish you had a. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anything... I'm a fucking. No. I'm the same as you guys out there. That with those nine to fives, I fucking bust my ass just so I could feel what you guys feel. I will say this, Jeff. I don't believe much is stopping you from the uh, si the vertical sidestep into a new profession. What are you talking about? You can go do those things. Go do the work. Go work the oil fields. Move to Houston. If you prefer it, I mean, I want you to live your best life. Let's get you out there. Uh, you like mining coal? Maybe for a video. Okay. <laughs> for a week. Yeah. I don't know. I just want you to live your best life. That's all. No, I, yeah, I, I love uh, feeling accomplished. Like the feeling of you did something hard and, and now you could go on with your day i guess there's a lot of reasons but i love that i love that you you know you're able to make those healthy life changes and that's great we got a lot in common yeah i thought this was fantastic yeah. ashley thanks for calling in and being so vulnerable with us i really do appreciate that thank you nice to see you nice to hear from you thank you i hope you find the girl you're looking for oh i will i think he has i i think i have <laughs> <laughs> Every time you fall in love, every time, but that's fantastic. Bro, it's, it's, it's that's what the show is. There's just you know what I mean. Yeah, and also, like if I picked out things that I didn't like about the girls, then the chat gets all pissed off at me, and then I'm on Reddit saying I'm a misogynist. I have to pick. This is what the show is. I have to pick my match for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And I can't say I don't like. I don't trust that the girl has no. Uh, decorations in her house. There was some, yeah. There were some people being really nasty. People got so it. mad at me. But there was a I lot was of like, people who were like, "Dude, shut up! It's his life. It's his dating. It's like just so." There, there, there's a lot of it. She was in a fake house. Vocal. She was in like a North Korean yeah, you're like. Right. It was fake... odd. It looked like a hotel room. Yeah, it might have been green screen. Might have been. I could so pick you what be I want. Yourself, you be yourself, and the, there's plenty. There, everybody, for the most part, is supporting you. Um, and, and your pursuit of love. And I'll say this, I thought Ashley was, I thought really a sweet, terrific girl. Yeah, and better, now that the camera settings are, are set properly, first thing I know, I didn't like, her tan didn't pop out right away. So, that's a plus. The tan was, ex was a lot. That time. tan almost didn't get her to level two. It was an extreme tan. That tan almost got her yeah. booted. Yeah, that's a tan. And, I, and I don't but blame it wasn't... you, because it was like, I mean, it was, it was borderline blackface, if I can be so bold <laughs> to say. And um, that's racist. That's, that's not, Oh, I shouldn't that say that? that was, she wasn't doing blackface. I accuse oh, her I don't think, just, no, I don't think she was doing blackface. Uh, but I was just saying it was borderline. I, I, that's, just, that's simply a joke about her darkening her skin. I think it was a white balance issue with her camera. It was a white balance issue, actually. She said she changed the lights, yeah. and that's why it didn't look as crazy. Orange. It was not everybody light. has a team of, of producers and it was people a to help them. If you submitted a video into this app application, the Bachelor thing, it'd probably be fucking yellow, too. Mm -hmm. You doing it by yourself. No, she so didn't. She was, she, her tan is great. <laughs> and not blackface. I would love to see a submission from you to be that's my friend tan. and your <laughs> face your is all friend. orange. Fuck. I'm not applying to anyone. <laughs> I don't need any, no new friends. I'm with Alec. Just this face here. <laughs> just fucking orange yeah. pops up on the screen. Yo, Jeff, I know we got off to wrong. Up, like the bad, bad start. What do we I do? You know, what do you do? What do you do with a friend? Like, what do you do? What do you do with a friend? You don't have any friends? Leave well, I guess that's what happens when you have a family. Bye. Yeah, it is kind of. What do you do? Nothing. Uh, I don't want you... friends anymore. I want a family. That's yeah. why. Yeah, that's it. Because what are you going to do? You're going to go out to drink? You're going out to bars? I don't want to do any of that stuff. Neither do I. You want to play video games? I prefer to play them by myself now. I don't even play video games. At my own pace. Cool. So friends are fucking bullshit. Lame. Cool, bro. Whatever. 
anyway, I don't know why we're talking about this. I love Ashley, though. <laughs> and uh, that's six yeses, so we're in trouble here, folks. Well, <laughs> the one girl that gets that said no. I think the, the drama of the show is you're going to have to make some hard choices at the end of this, Jeff. Right? Am I going to have to tell them to their face? No. You can. I mean, you can. That's can't. part of the show. Is that a more honorable thing to do? We can have them call back in and say, sorry, you didn't make it. God, that would be brutal. But that's what they do in the show. It's uncomfortable, but. I mean, I we don't have to do that. I'm just, if you I like guess to. we should. I guess we should do that. Like a rose that's ceremony. fucking tough, man. But I feel like we have to do it. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do uh, it at the end. <laughs> so let's I'm, move it right get, along here. We've I'm done. to get roasted by the chat when we get to that point. I'm, to give out a rose is what the bachelor is supposed to do. It's the game. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows what they're. So we're gonna about call for. them back. They're gonna get all excited, That's and we're the gonna game. be like, "You're no, not getting the rose." I don't think we can call them back. <laughs> that, yeah, Your yeah, call. yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not, because it's. That seems like too much. <laughs> if they're getting the call back, they're gonna think that they. It's like an audition. You get a mm. call back. You're like, "Oh, this is hope, false hope." And then right. it's just us calling you on a show with a million people watching to I say, "No, nope, you didn't win. You didn't quite make the." Call. I I agree. And for the for in the sake of time, let's let's you know I don't we're gonna have time. We have an hour left. We've done six out of ten. We've got four left. Let's move it along to Taylor from Long Island. Ooh, all right. Uh, she, this you got to ask her about this doctorate of ide audiology student. Is a doctorate. A doctorate of audiology. PhD? The fuck is audiology? Wait. Well, let's ask yeah. Taylor. Hi. From Long Island. Yeah. Oh, hi, Taylor. I remember your your submission. Remember me? Yeah. Wow. So cute. Look at this First setup. It, it, it. Uh, thank you. Yes, I'm in Italy right now. <laughs> Did you change your hair? No, I just straightened it. Like it. Wow. It looks nice. Look at us hi. in Italy Look having spaghetti and meatballs. No, I love it. This is my first time in Europe. Have Good. you been here before? You never been to Europe? It's the first time. No, that's my first Italian waiter too. You want this? I'm sure no. <laughs> yes, please. Just, just stack it up there. I, I ate a bite of that one. It's all right. Wow. While the waiter does this, I want to say, Ashley, I didn't think you were in blackface. I think you were beautiful. I'm sorry. That was inappropriate. You're right. I'm sorry. Ethan's about that. the only one. Ethan's the only I'm one. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for saying that. <laughs> Ashley, you look great. That's nice that you called in, like timing-wise, to you know get him out of that hole that he was digging himself into. Oh, of course. The times that I've seen the show in the past, I uh, always want to That's another plus for you, though. Have, have you ever dated a white white guy? Italian guy? I don't consider myself uh, white. I'm Italian. My last two exes were uh, white. Italian the last, is a hate last crime. one was Italian. Sorry, what'd you say? I was distracted by the waiter here. <laughs> oh, yeah. The last two guys I've dated were white, and the last one was Italian. Italian and Irish. Wow, so you have a type. Now I don't have a type, Jeff. That's okay. I'd rather, <coughs> I'd rather you have a type and I be your type. <laughs> so I know that it's genuine and it's real. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. I think my type's like, my personality. Like my ex, she went and found a, like a lookalike of me. And I was like, oh, dope. So that relationship was real. She was into me the whole time. My looks wise. That's what my ex you know. did too. That was weird though. <sighs> But that's yeah, good. That just means that it was a real, genuine connection. So I, I, I guess that's that's a better way to look at it. Um, all right. So Long Island, you're a doctor. Do you like a coffee? Yes. Not please. yet, but almost. You want a coffee? Can we? Yeah, real coffee. You want a real coffee? I would love some caffeine. Yeah. I, Let's I, do I was, that. I've been trying to save my social uh, <laughs> battery. You love that battery. battery. Just charging um, that. I, I, I relate. I know what he means, you know. He That's was he I was say. taken he was taken a bit out of context because what he said. But it's just funny how it got taken, you know. It okay. So here's my that? take on it because we keep. I don't understand the social battery. <coughs> Hassan, uh, you know Hassan, who used to do the show with Ethan before I came in I I and Hassan, yeah. stole the hearts of all the audience here. All the girls, um, yeah. He said, he made a comment on his stream saying that being a streamer is harder than working a nine to five because. <gasps> Uh, yeah, 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 but <laughs> okay. I just so so, just to be fair to my friend, yeah. he said he's my friend too. <clears throat> he to said um, he was talking about social battery. I've never heard that, but apparently that's a thing. That I love that term. I'm gonna use it all the time now because I I get it. Like if you have to entertain a lot of people and be like 
try to be funny and be on all day. Right. Sometimes I just want to be alone at the end of the night. Everybody has a social battery, even working a nine to five. Absolutely. You go to school, that's a social. Absolutely. Like, so that, Take that, Hassan. So, so Take that's, that, the, Hassan. I think okay. that's, that's the vertical that maybe, so what happened was they, there was a perfect, nice, juicy clip where he, it's like he's saying, um, doing streaming is harder than a nine to five. He doesn't believe that. What mm -hmm. he was saying is that the social battery aspect of streaming for nine hours straight is harder than any other s real job quote, which is not a good sure. take, I mean, by the no, way. So you're, but it's not as so bad as people are saying. social aspect, you're the focus, <coughs> you're the target, and you need to make all the entertainment the whole time. So I got that. So but you're harder. you're a doctor. Yeah. You're a doctor, right? Can I? I, I, I just because I, I want to be fair you're to the song. Yeah. So yeah. so hold on. Um, I believe that he didn't mean what he said. What he where he messed up, Jeff. And um, I don't care. What's I'm just fucking around. What's her name? <laughs> Taylor and Taylor. My oh, name, just... Taylor. Taylor and Jeff. What he meant, where he messed up is he shouldn't What's have compared name? it to, oh, it's more this than a quote, real job. I totally, I think a lot of people empathize with the yeah. fact that, you know, he, it is a very draining on the social battery. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? To be streaming nine hours for sure. Absolutely. But it's not, yeah. I don't think it was, it's, I don't think it's ever wise to make that comparison of like, oh, well, it's more so than your job. You know what I mean? I get so, It was a hot take. The it was fine. I feel nice. like people being upset about it is just people being silly. It's yeah, social he's a hot take. versus what's actually hard. It's he he did he did not word it well, but I know what he meant. And he just got okay. such a massive audience now that you know you're gonna piss some people off with whatever you say. Yeah, but you know what? When you're when you when you're hot as fuck, I just don't feel bad for you. I just, I don't have, I'm not, uh, I don't have enough information on, on the subject to give it, to give an opinion on it. you hold that right please? Now. But, um, I, I like my coffee dark. So you're in school, you're, you're in medical school. <coughs> Here you go. No, I'm getting my doc, my specialized doctorate. So I'm sorry I sound like I didn't pay attention to hey, you, but this is, this information no, okay. was fed Nobody to me by the crew here. Is. I it's think the, fine. I think it's the crew is sabotaging up. you. No, you like, it's um, <laughs> Cream? Okay. No, that's. Perfect. Oh, you just want it straight? Yes. Okay. Oh fuck! I shit, like shit. No. no. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I I'm like my blender. coffee black, just like my women. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> that's Button. a. But hey, girl. Get over there. <laughs> wow. Not, I mean, I listen. Can't find my memory. <laughs> that's there forever. It's the truth. <laughs> Look, I just huh? keep it real. Well. Sure, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, there's so much going on over here. It's, it's, this is nasty. What happened in that? It's not you, it's the waiter. I'm out. Tell the I'm waiter to stop. Stand on business. We don't want him in this Italian okay. restaurant. Okay, apologies. Yeah. Sorry, waiter. So are you a fan of this show, or did, did you just call, did you just find out about this? For, I was watching your show. Oh. And then I Whoa. sent an email at first. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell yeah. Whoa, oh. that's awesome. No wonder why Dan's feeding me all this information. Oh, she's a doctor, all this stuff, telling me wrong names and stuff. That's so funny. Oh my God, Dan, you didn't get my name right either. It's on my Zoom handle. Yeah, Whatever. but you, anyway. so you, What's your name? I called you right now. You watch my no. show and that's what made you want to submit. I watch, I'm a very casual viewer. Like I'm not, I don't know every single little thing about your show, but I'll watch it sometimes cool. when I get ready in the morning. I heard you talking about it, and I went over to this podcast to learn the details. I've watched this podcast in the past, though. <laughs> However, as long as this is a safe space, I just want to say to stop because it got upsetting when I couldn't defend <clears throat> certain points, the opposite side of the spectrum. Oh, okay. Whenever a certain view. Damn, a passionate it's woman. Like I yelled at my phone. But anyways. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I had no idea my video was going to like be on screen. I thought that was going to be for, like, Someone in the back, Sam, to watch and talk to me later. Oh, so but you could like do what Ethan that. does and give like commentary through the the video. Like you could be there explaining it while. I'm... Oh, I didn't even think the video was gonna be like a thing. Someone oh, had shown you didn't know you. Instagram. you... Someone oh found my god. Me on Instagram. I was like, is that you? I was like, yeah. <coughs> oh my goodness. Damn. <laughs> so Ashley, is that your name? Oh my goodness. Sorry, Taylor. Sorry. I well, I didn't do it on what. Well, no, the video okay. was cute. I got a whole list. It got of names you picked. Here. 
No, she, it's okay. She's a fan of the show. She knows how Ethan is. I was going to say, Taylor, are you... Well, I was going to oh. ask. So do you watch the show or no? I used to watch the show. But mm. like I said, sometimes Where'd it just I lose gets you? really frustrating <laughs> when I can't throw this <laughs> inside. But Ethan, listen. Can I tell you something? Please. I think you have auditory processing disorder. You know how you pronounce <laughs> things? I might... Go Wait, let's, let's, hear, let's, hey, let's hear her out. Let's Wait, hear her yeah, out. No, yeah. cook. no I'm cook. curious because I do think I have some kind of thing. Like, I... I say what so much. Mm -hmm. and, and right. What is that? <laughs> so it's like the connection between your ears and your brain. She's so coming to Hollywood. All the information and you understand it just fine. It's just once it reach the, reaches that like higher processing level, your brain has a harder time working it into those other areas. I don't I, know. What I do I do about it? Mm -hmm. Can I fix it? You can with like practice or you can tell the crew to be nicer to you when you get someone's name wrong after they've repeated it 10 million times because that's like an actual thing you just don't hear the correct bro they're being ableist all the time to me i keep no, saying that are. and they don't care you have auditory processing dude I'm i've got dyslexia right i've got this mm -hmm. i love you know what you are so nice thank you for pointing that out i pre and you have expertise too I'm taylor disabled. thank you i do this for a living You're welcome. i appreciate that that's really cool actually damn i love that you did that taylor that was dope. <laughs> disabled I've been wanting to say that for ever, so I'm happy I got to. Thank you. What do you call it? I'll look into it, actually, for real. No, genuinely do it. <laughs> no, you know, repeat it, because I want to use it on him every time he says some... Uh, how's it called? It's an auditory processing disorder, APD, for APD. short. But genuinely, it can be confused for ADHD, so when your kids... It's another thing have I apparently have. ever in school... You can get them tested for that through an audiologist and they'll get accommodations. Oh, that's so... I didn't even know that was a thing. I told you you were all fucked up in the head and your oh, mental illness I know shit. that. I just don't... I said it on the show and you're like, no, I'm not on... I don't know if I have that. What? I would never deny that. It's on okay. the show. Okay, okay. It's on... I immediately... It was the first thing I said to you on, when I had you on my show. Yeah. I think, you like mental I think you said right? Right? without a or background, Jack. Huh? I think you said bipolar or something. I'm not bipolar. He's bipolar that's too, right? <laughs> what? That's not right. even her expertise. <laughs> Taylor, what that's is it when he has... Up. That's not yours either. <laughs> Don't diagnose him with that. Don't diagnose Oh, shit. Everybody's got him. Taylor, what, what about when he has diagnose. nine employees and he can only not hear <laughs> one of them? What is that? <laughs> what did you say? Oh, shit. Never mind. It's me. No, what is it. happening? What is what Proceed. happened? Proceed. Why is he talking? All right, listen, you're what coming to Hollywood. Saying? Oops. Yeah. Wait, okay, I, time out, Jeff. Yeah. Everyone's going to Hollywood according to you. <laughs> I'm a little concerned here. And I'm excited for the rose ceremony, but I'm a little scared. Is that a vape in your hand? No, it's lip gloss. It's lip oil. Oh, all right. That was going to be a red flag. Okay. Vaping's fine. It's okay. Uh, I, uh, it's all right if you vape. Um... She is that it. seven um, plates of spaghetti in your lap? Yeah, it is. A bit of a red flag. Can't finish one? Clear your table, man. That was good. Clear your table. <laughs> well, it's just tough, you know? It's tough to pick, but I'm going to have to soon. But Can I ask yeah. a question? Taylor, you live in Long Island. Yeah. Would you move to Los Angeles to be to pursue a relationship with Jeff? I'll move over there. Oh, you'll go there? Yeah. Oh. We can be bi-coastal. One, two... Yeah, Los I mean, I like to be warm. I really hate the cold, like with a burning passion. You'll what if we it. do spring, summer, New York, come yeah, out here in the winter? Yeah, but we'll just come back for Christmas that with the like family, nice you know? Life, actually, that Perfect. sounds really nice. That. Just pop in for the holidays. Wait, that sounds so nice, just to be in New York during like the fall. And then that's what I'm doing this year. That's what, well, I'm going to be in New York for spring, summer. That's so smart if you can oh, afford perfect. it. Because, like, New York sucks so bad, yeah. not in the fall. We're going on dates. But during the fall, mean? it's, like, the best. Uh, yeah. Fall time's cool. I should do well, that. Okay. I'll be... I'll never. I will never do that. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor, um, wow. Taylor, all right. <laughs> Taylor, is there anything you want to say um, before we sign off? I do. I want to say that it's been nice to see you get more comfortable and more confident as all your dates have been going on. Mm. Well, when I came First, in here, I was I was speeding, speeding to get here. I was running red yeah, lights. Late, I was doing Jack. a bunch of yeah, like I, I was really really trying to get here, and mm. I fucked up. So I was a little nervous about that, and then also I didn't know what I was getting myself into, and I was like, I didn't prepare anything. Should I have prepared like pickup lines or something? But. Well, no, I've been no, in, I've been so doing good. this my whole life, so fucking whatever, you know. Right. And you're what? great, and it's just natural. It's it, it's, it's gonna be. 
You've been doing what your whole life? Speaking. Oh. I thought you were like, I've been picking up chicks since I was eight. No, I'm not a fuck boy. All right. I don't, I, and I haven't been. I'm just guy, I'm, I'm helping you. Um, no, I just meant like I've been podcasting and talking. So I was a little nervous coming into it, but... Uh, Which yeah, is I'm, crazy that you're nervous. All the girls have been cool, calm, and collected. I know, and they're making me feel better. You guys are making me feel better. Ethan's distracting me. Ethan's fucking Sorry. trying to sabotage me. And it's funny, but it's distracting. Sorry and, about that. Um, okay. This was lovely, and thank you for pointing that out, because you gave me more confidence. Yeah, I'm glad. She's so sweet. I love, I love her. I mean, she's amazing. I love yeah. her. Yeah, super yeah. nice. Also no, incredibly smart. That really impressed me. The I audio know, thing. I, know. I, I I never heard of that. Really, I think I might have. That, I could add that to my fucking laundry list of <laughs> mental <laughs> deficiencies. If you're ever in Long Island, I'll give you a test. Audio, you know what? Audio, if, audio. If you end up coming out here, can we do an hmm. audio uh, disorder test? Probably. I mean, or do yeah, you need like special instruments? Equipment. You do need. Instruments, but like you can rent them or we can we can rent we can rent know. is it something we could do on the show? So there is a um, There's a way that you can be a telehealth provider and they have like equipment that they'll send out to patients. So mm. technically, Yes, is it is it, could you conduct the test on the show? Do you think? Yeah, that'd be awesome. We should do that. You're coming to Hollywood. You're coming to Hollywood. You're coming <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Send us your full name and birthday. We're booking the flight. <laughs> oh, love that. Right. I'm going to be 25 soon, so not 24 for long. Just saying. We love that. Mm -hmm. All right, That's Taylor. That's right there. 25. Taylor, this is great. It was great meeting you. Great talking to you. And I can't wait to see you again. Uh, sorry about all the distractions, by the way. I hey. haven't waited in a while. What a wacky <laughs> It made my trip to Italy more memorable. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Very, Taylor. very A joy and a too. pleasure. Thank you for yeah, chatting. Thank you so much. And thank you for the new diagnosis. Bye, Taylor. <laughs> I, collect, <laughs> I collect them like Pokemon. For the new diagnosis. <laughs> that was dope. She fucking diagnosed you. I think she's right, though, because my whole life, people talk to me, and I've been made fun of this for it, too. And my brother has it, too. People go, and I hear them, but I go, what? Because, like, I hear it. I take the audio in, mm -hmm. but I'm not processing it right away. So I have to go, what? I have to hear it again. Yeah. That's part of when I got my testing done. Slow processing speed is why I got extra time. With my ADHD, though. Oh, because that. so that's so it could be either way. Yeah. Well, you mm. don't want to hear you. That's because you don't have people really bullying you. Like if you have if if you had people say something to you and then you, you like they said it clearly mm. and then you said what? And they weren't like you didn't hear what I fucking said, mm -hmm. then you'd stop saying what all the time, you know? I'd probably stop hanging out with them because I couldn't help it, and it would just make me feel really bad. <laughs> yeah. Which has happened, actually, in my, uh, yeah. in my upbringing. What? Tragic. Tragic. You ever try these um, French vanilla coffee ones? Just hit them straight? No, I, no just black coffee. Mm, that's strong. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't put milk in the coffee. Mm. I like my coffee dark. That was a risky joke. Fuck it. It was funny though, I think. I think it was funny. It was it was wild. It was it really? I don't that know. wild? Was it that wild? It was um funny. I think it was funny. Uh, if it wasn't funny, I didn't say the joke. I like um, my coffee like I like my women. It's a, uh, I mean it was I was flirting. You were flirting. <laughs> you were flirting. That's how I flirt. Mm, you're kinda good. I ride the line. Yeah, baby, you're a bad boy like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, no, but un unironically, she was terrific. I really liked her. She was great. Yeah. It's this is so hard to do. This is nuts. This is really something. All right, let's move it along. Up next, we've got Sky from Seal Beach. She's a sales coordinator. Did we oh, this is the beach? the beach with no seals. Seal That's beach. San Diego. Yes, yeah, San okay, Diego. Got it, got yeah, it. I want to ask her about that, but uh, I got to reject one of these girls. Well, we're going to talk through it. One Sorry, to did you hear that? Shit. This Wait. is off to a Not her, part. though. Not her. Sky, it is your name? Did I hear that right? Yeah. Yes, it is Sky. Hi. It's very nice to meet you. I love Sky. It's nice to meet you, wow. too. Um, it's more spaghetti, please. Um, is that a, Tell me about those piercings you got. Those are super cool. I've never seen anything like that, ever. <laughs> 
This one's just, oh, shit. she's a nose chain. Nose chain and a septum, that's all I have. The nose chain, it's kind of more cultural than anything. Yeah, you're like, you ever seen the 300 thing. with Xerxes? Like the, the big guy, you know what I'm talking about? And he had all like, he was like nine feet tall and all the gold stuff, like pierced the weird stuff. I love actually it. actually who I'm trying to emulate right now. I'm glad that you're picking up on that. The Xerxes is, was a big inspiration when I was younger for me too. You know, he looks what? nothing like that. Like if you look at the actor, he looks like me. No. Like he's just like a regular guy, you know? What I'm hearing is that you could be him. Maybe I am Xerxes. He had that deep voice. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. You're really good. You had it's half so nice. of it before you. Not half, but I did taste it. Okay. Hot. Waiters get hungry, man. <laughs> Waiters get hungry too. Was that a deeper okay, Ethan? Yeah, I pitched it down. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Throw some auto tune on it. That'll have to do post production. All right, let's get back to this date here. So, <laughs> what do you do? You look very creative. That is so nice. I just I sell uh, beer for a living right now, which is ironic. I don't drink a lot. I don't really enjoy drinking, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do to make money. More for me. Cheers, buddy. There's a noodle on the bottom. You drank Careful beer, that. right? Yeah, you lost it. That's yeah, I um, used to roller skate. I used to be kind of an influencer. Didn't like it. Stepped out. I don't exist on the internet anymore. You are a roller skating influencer? <laughs> yeah, for... <laughs> right it's all right. Look, there's so many different categories of influencers now. Anything could be like something that's interesting and find, you find your niche. And you're, you're uh, blocking. The waiter, maybe <laughs> clear the. <laughs> Ethan, you find what works for you. You know, you're right in the shot. Blocking my my cam. Oh, right shit. Uh, we my, can't over there. Jeff. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah. yeah. Uh, and in particular, she can't see Jeff. <laughs> no, that's so now she. That's just, actually just as bad. She's yeah. Just looking there at, you go. There we go. There you go. Yeah. No. Service is fantastic here, by the way. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, just a, a tad more. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Very good. Apologies. No, no. Okay, okay, back to you, Sky. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> all right, well, do you have any questions for me? You know, it is, I got to say, I've, I've been watching the pod up until this point, and I've been wondering, I, like, how distracting is having Ethan in there right now? Oh, I don't and give I'm a fuck about what, what he's doing. He thinks that moment. it's, he's just goofing around. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's funny, and honestly... It would probably be a lot more awkward if he wasn't doing this stuff and it'd be a lot more difficult for me. So I like distractions. It's like when you watch those videos of like a podcast and you have the subway surfer underneath it. It's kind of like like that for me right now. You know what I'm talking about? I love doing, yeah, those, but with soap cutting videos, I've been about it. You ever watch soap cutting videos? Yeah, but those are satisfying. This is the opposite. <laughs> this is disgusting and it's making a mess. <laughs> He's spilling stuff on my... Expensive Aww. clothing they're that hit, people yeah. probably a, stain. They're hitting you with the ASMR. Huh? Ian hit you with the ASMR. He's decorating. He's doing amazing. He's hitting you with the ASMR. He's giving you entertainment, babe. Oh, we're doing it right I'm now. The show. I did not Live do that. on the show. That was not yeah, my Yeah, now call. this is nice. These are healthy distractions. I, I'm so sorry, Don't Sky. Lie. You guys go ahead and connect. Yeah. <laughs> put that back up. Put the... Put, put the the soap cutting on there for us. Sky, what was the cultural significance of the nose uh, bridge uh, piercing or whatever you called it? So I'm Puerto Rican Taino and it's a it's a Taino, it's a thing that Taino women would do. Oh. They would get piercings. I've, yeah, I've, ne I've never seen a piercing Rico. like that. It's very Sorry, lovely. I didn't I didn't hear that. You you're Puerto Rican, you said? Yeah, I'm Puerto Rican. And that's so that's a cultural thing? Yeah. Do you have any other well, cool tattoos that you could show us? <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Let's go. Puerto Rico. Cool. Yeah, all the way down there. She goes down the foot. That was probably one of the most painful things I've ever felt in my life. Really? Do you if worry that... If someone tattoos, stick a needle in your foot for four hours, that hurts. Yeah. How old were you when you got your first tattoo? Ooh, I didn't get my first tattoo until I was like 21. I, st I was so clean cut and straight until I turned 21 and then I was like oh there's so much world out there and then I went through hooligan phase like everybody does yeah did you ever worry that like <coughs> you're not going to get into heaven because you got all those tattoos jeez <laughs> is that a Jewish thing is that a Puerto Rican thing it's it's a few religions I don't even know what it is it's it's a Jewish, the Jews not, are the ones that yeah you seem like a great person but what if you get there and you're at the gates and they're like nope 
tattoos, no good. Nope. You're out. Damn. Send you down to hell. You know, I don't think it would be the tattoos. I think it would have been something else. What's the worst thing you've ever really? done in your life? Like, tell us something crazy that you've done. Ooh, there's a, this is, there's, there's a stream watching. There's a live audience watching. I've done there's some nobody watching. That's, that's, that's some third date activities, baby. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll do that one in private. <laughs> Uh, what's the questions you had for me? What's the best religion? Um, what's, yeah, what, what's, is, what, which, re, which religion is correct? Which religion's correct? The Jews. None. <laughs> oh, none. We love the atheism. Who knows? Very okay. good answer. Something might be right, but uh, hell if I know. It's, it's not my place to know, I don't think. Yeah. You're right. Do you I, believe I in conspiracy theories and stuff? I've got a conspiracy theory that has been sitting with me. I've been baking on this one for a while Ooh. now. Okay, hear me out. We know Garth Brooks, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of Chris Gaines? Yes. Mm -hmm. So like if you go on Spotify, you look up Garth Brooks. He has very limited music on there because he thinks that people should enjoy his music organically. Don't know what that means, but go off Garth Brooks. <laughs> Garth but is so funny. He's so weird. But he has, so if you look up Brooks Jefferson on Spotify, you can find a lot more Garth Brooks music. And I'm absolutely convinced because you cannot find any evidence of this man, Brooks Jefferson, anywhere else mm. except for one tiny little web page. I'm like convinced that. my conspiracy theory boils down to Garth Brooks has so many more identities that we oh, don't know about. That's Shit. fascinating. That's good. Huh. And you know, that one, that's really interesting. I'll say this though, maybe as as a devil's advocate here. Sorry to butt in on your date. It's all right, Jeff. Did you want to answer? I don't have much of an opinion on this anyway. Mean, I'm not. Take I, I'm one? not too familiar with the. He was so bad involved. at being Chris Gaines that I wonder if he has the capability of pulling off such a clever ruse. Does He's he do had time face? to learn. Does he do his face? Let the conversation begin. Chris Gaines be like. That Chris Gaines record's a fucking gem, dude, and you know it. I don't. <laughs> what podcast do you like? I watch this one. I'm not huge into podcasts. I watch this one and I listen to NPR Short Wave, and that's about Who's it. your favorite character? Who's your favorite cast member? Pick a player right now? Yes. Mm. Olivia. Wow. Oh nice. my god, that's such a good choice. Nice. <laughs> I love these guys. <laughs> Good answer. Can we give her one of these? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I right think now? that's your a video fan made fave. me laugh out loud. Yeah. Everyone was commenting like shipping us, Olivia. Us? Oh yeah. my god. That was a lot of the comments I read. That's inappropriate. Sorry. It's inappropriate. Yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm just so reiterating sorry, what the what the, the comments said. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I saw that our date, your but you said she was your favorite. She was also the fan favorite. So oh. good call. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> Jeff, I got a question for you. All right. Hit me. What makes you feel like you're ready to be a dad? Ooh. Uh, dad? I already feel like I am to a lot of my crew members and, you know, I get very involved in their lives and I give them advice. <coughs> Sometimes they don't listen to it, but I don't know. I just, I, I look back at how my father raised me and the stuff that he did. And honestly, seeing my brother and sister have kids, my sister has a, a six-year-old daughter and she's a single mother and she put her in jiu-jitsu class and she just had her first tournament and she fucking whooped all the boys asses and she's 40 pounds and she was beating up guys like 50 60 pounds like tossing them around like crushing it and it just made me so proud of her and i just want to be there uh for stuff like that i think i want to I think I'm ready. I think I lived a lot of my life. I've had fun. I've done plenty of fun stuff, and I'm I'm ready to sacrifice a lot of that to, you know, have a kid. I like that. I, I want, think one of the reasons that I applied for this was because I like you because I feel like you have grit and ambition grit. in a way that you can. But it's something that you can only kind of have when you've been through it. You know, when you yeah. have lived a truly hard life, like there's some level of understanding that you can get with people like that. That's hard to achieve with somebody who hasn't faced true hardship. You know, can I ask you a question? Apologies again to Bud. I mean, can I ask the question? <laughs> I just it's fast. Do you, would you say you have some grit? Have you been through some 
I was going to ask the same thing about myself. That's why I, because you keep on cutting in <laughs> to ask the questions that I'm going to ask. <laughs> who's fucking, who's the bachelor? I know. I, I apologize. I'm deeply, deeply apologetic. So just be the host. Do I have grit? You have so much grit. You have so For much real? grit. Oh my God. More than me? So much queen. No, no, no. Fuck no. He don't know shit. I'm, I'm a little gritty. What it's, gritty. What it's okay. like. I'm a little gritty. <laughs> little gritty. That's my rap name. No, he you goes know, through yeah. uh, shit. I see people making videos. I saw that guy made a video on you about the Bill Burr thing. Again. Oh God! Every fucking week is another Bill <laughs> Burr video. Bro, that's grit. You what? went through that, <laughs> bro. This this fucking podcast happened like seven years ago. Yeah. And there's got to be like thirty video essays <laughs> yeah. about it. It's like it's like coming of age for video essayists. Yeah, it popped up. Yeah, um, I love it. Recommended to me. It was crushing <laughs> we love it. it. Guy, Did you uh, watch zesty. it? Hell yeah. Full thing. Was Gave him good? his full viewer retention. I want that shit yeah, in the I algorithm. Want all Ethan hate videos <laughs> on my pump page. <laughs> Bring them wire. Yeah, I love that. So, yeah, you would say you have some grit yourself? Yeah, I mean, I I think I said in the video, I graduated when I was 16. I moved out when I was 17, and I've just been mm. taking care of myself since then. Wow. Hard. Let's respect it's that. Hard. It's, it's not easy, but. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Exactly, that's what I always say. That's what I always told my mom every time I was in jail. Ma, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> you know? Can you bail me out? I'd bail you out any day of the week. You know, that's the difference between me and you, though. I never got caught. You did. Oh, oh what have you no, done? Good answer. Good answer, yeah. <laughs> what do you got? I got caught to? those times. I also didn't get caught for a lot. Is Grit also another name for felon? No, it's you not know? that type of. No, no. Nah. Just, 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 no just, just the hard shit. Don't make me hit the button. <laughs> He's <laughs> editing himself with the button. That's wild to see that. It's fun. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. If you got it, flaunt, use it or flaunt it or whatever. All right, this was lovely. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really into this. Uh, it's, it's so hard. This is so hard. <laughs> it's so yeah. This is fucking... probably the most unorthodox date I think I've ever been on. I didn't think I would. Honestly, truthfully, didn't think I'd get this far. Honestly, I didn't think I, like, after the first batch of videos, the submissions, it's so different now talking to you guys. I don't it's know. It's got to be weird from your end, too, though, because you, I, I can't even imagine the amount of, like, what ifs that you're kind of going to go through in this. I mean, 800 people submitted to this mm. for you. Mm -hmm. I don't That's know if I believe that. that. I didn't yes. see any, yes, it anything real back it up. Sam watched that shit. Yeah. Right, Sam? I did. Yeah. Just, oh, it was 800 on the dot? Um, it, it wasn't. I think it was like 794 or something 800. like that. I knew it wasn't She's 800. Rounding. She's rounding. Yeah. Wait, but... That's, that's going to be a lot. Do you feel that? How do you feel like you deal with the pressure of that kind of stuff? Pressure in general. How do you think you deal with it? Um, I guess I'm just kind of used to it, and it's also, I believe a lot of them are fans of the show, so that's why they submitted. But wow. I did get a lot of emails on my own, so I, I guess- I sent one too. Did you? Wow. I did. Well, maybe, you know, now I was going to do the, I was going to do the spinoff at the end, but I think I'm canning that. I don't want to do that anymore. You're, I think- It's not going to make I'm so far. into this, and I'm already so in over my head with so many great women that I have to can my version, and I don't want to do it anyway. I, yeah, it wasn't gonna make it that far. This shit. This you knew that from day one when I started. Well, of course that. I did, but I wasn't gonna tell you. I mean, go for it. If it makes it that far, go. You know what I mean? I love it. Yeah. But I'll tell you, the chance that you actually get the show hasn't totally derailed by then is like close to zero percent. All right, you're coming to Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, this is one thing that I need to settle with you. Steel Beach is not in San Diego. Oh what shit, the, where is it? What the fuck? Is it right next no, to San right Diego? No, it's right next to Long Beach. Oh, it's even closer. So, yeah. So... He's local. So, where are the seals? Over the, here, apparently. Not where you went. I didn't oh, go to the right so place? There are seals on Seal Beach, though. There, there are some seals in Seal Beach. Sometimes. I went, I went looking... I went looking all over there with Nerf, trying to introduce him to a seal, see them interact. But look, okay, we gotta get you over here. We're gonna get, we're gonna get you to see some seals. It's too late. He's dead. He's now. Looking I'm at so, him. I didn't even know. He's dead now. He's dead now. <laughs> it's too late. He's dead now.
Bottom line is you cannot be trusted. <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> All right. Ethan fed me that line. He fed me that one. See, that's that's him <laughs> doing anything. Wingman and me. Sky, thank you so much. It's a pleasure and a joy to talk to you. Thank you for calling in. Uh, you're, uh, you're terrific, and I appreciate you sharing yourself with us. So thank, thank you, Sky. Thanks. Sorry bye bye. You about your dead dog. Ooh, it's okay. <laughs> I know how you couldn't see, but she was right? laughing pretty hard. Yeah, the loss of a of a pet like that. Mm -hmm. It's a pain that only I feel like another. I could cry right now. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is. There's just so many emotions going through me. Truthfully, like you the, can cry. all these women and bringing up Nerf. Go ahead, let it out. Do you want I'm alone you now, home? you know? Oh, wow, he's crying. There's, I think there's a tear coming down. Punch in, because I don't know how much longer I can hold this. Is that a byproduct of the injury? We need a crocodile one coming. The pressure's on. Do you see it? Punch in, Dan. He's punching. Now I'm now I'm no longer thinking about it, and I'm thinking about it in a joking way. <laughs> no, it's gone. There was certainly a moment. There of, was, there was. I'm not giving it. you that. Okay. I'll do that on Jeff of Hell. I'm not doing All that right. here. I could do this too. <laughs> I could like saturate it. So. All right, we're working our way through this. Actually, uh, uh, we have two left. Bro, I'm gonna cry at the main one, like the f the final ones. <laughs> I'm gonna cry at that shit. You feel? Th yeah, I mean that's what happens in the show, and. And, and, you know, because it's real, it's real emotion. You connect with these people and they're, they're all terrific. And you can imagine a future with, with several of them, but, the, but it's painful because we're not living in monogamy. We're not Mormon weirdos living on the outskirts of Utah desert. We're, uh, you know, um, civilized, uh, Judeo-Christian valued, um, Jews. civilizations. And we are monogamous at the end of the day. That's how I think God made us to be, but who knows? We're just a bunch of normies. There are some animals that are monogamous, like penguins, I think, is one of them. Yeah. Penguins. They spouse forever. Yeah. And they, they leave them, and they come back to that spot in Antarctica, and you could see the, the trails from their shit. I watched that documentary. so sad. Did you? They, like when the one guy who got turned around and walks the wrong way. What are you talking about? Oh, there's a documentary about, like, the penguin mating in Antarctica. Yeah, I watched. I... There was one of these penguins who got, like, um disoriented and he walked like in the wrong direction in land and he was like gonna die for sure he was gonna walk oh yeah it was horrible i like the part where they uh where they danced oh, the penguins. Fun. i think it's happy feet you're thinking of. can we put some penguins is that up what at? we're talking about happy can, feet can we put up a little like a penguin on the screen or something <laughs> well the puffer jeff, fish, jeff right? i don't want to um turn hey, what, so can you call up the uh the penguin please ian the penguin Jeff, I don't, I don't want to um, rush you, but the next person is Verico. Um, our Australian from Queensland. Oh, wow. She was Damn. our first um, video call from last time. Drama. Dude, She's 25. She's an administrative assistant. And I have to say that there was um, certainly some chemistry. All right. I need to go take a breather. Go ahead. Take your moment. The bathroom. Yeah, go ahead. And Big. All right, you go get comfortable, okay? I sent a picture of a penguin in the meantime. Check your... Oh, thank you, AB. I'll just make sure Jeff sees this. That shit is kind of good, right? Like, if you're really hungry. Yo, every time Sam comes over, we take a huge Lunch whip. Time. It smells so good. Oh, eat some. I mean, we got like... Oh, 20... I am. There's, a, there's the, like a meatball the, in my mouth. The noodles are okay. They're like super overcooked, but the meatballs are not bad. Sauce, superb. The sauce is, is mm -hmm. tasty, yeah. Know your way around some meat. I'll have more, honestly. <laughs> Are we just Thank you. and we're feeding her? I like that. Can we just get a shot of that of Sam feeding Olivia in the meantime, please? <clears throat> I don't know how Jeff's gonna pick. I mean, there's electricity. We could wire the whole nation with there's so much electricity. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Jeff's and the garbage. nuclear reactor, and they're all conduits of. Wonderful penguins? electric chemistry. You talking about the penguins still? No, we moved on from that. Oh. I do want to say, though, as we wait here, that I want to uh, thank all the beautiful ladies for... Um, Everybody's been so great. <clears throat> putting their time in, putting themselves on the line, and I 
really truly think of the world of all you guys. So thank you to ladies, all the wonderful ladies of ladies. the H3 podcast for putting yourself out there. Ladies. And y'all are terrific. I mean, really amazing. By the way, I am, uh, uh, AB earlier found that uh, there are other people that have wondered the same thing about that Garth Brooks account. So there may be oh. something to that. Can I get another uh, spaghetti before? Well, let's bring her in and then I'll, All right, I'll, bring her in right I'll now. talk with the wait staff. Here we go. One second. Up next is Verica. Ah, Verica. Oof. I almost spit out that <laughs> Coke Zero all over the place. What happened? You see her? Hi, Verica. Are you here? Hi, Jeff. <laughs> it's really nice to meet you. <coughs> Lovely to meet you, too. We got a singlet on this time. Yeah. You know, when I first saw your submission, I got to be honest, I was like, let's end this fucking show. <laughs> it's done. It's over. Thank you. Then why didn't you respond to my DM? Oh. oh no, wow. No. She is really Am going I for it. Am I did about you, to be Did you DM villain? me? Of course I did. I didn't. You. I don't look at Just to say I don't... thank you. Just to say thank you. The preface of the message, it literally said, I'm not ruining the show. I just wanted to thank you. Uh-huh. I know. Should that. I, look, I, should I pull it up? I was prepping to biff small nostrils in the octagon. Do you want to try this meatball? Should I pull it up right now and read it or no? Oh, shit. No, I'll keep it private. I'll keep it private. I'll look at it after. <laughs> Can you read it right now? I'm not going to lie. I looked for your Instagram, but it's not <laughs> your name. Try this meatball. You're not no, going to find it. It's good. you got to be hungry. You worked up quite a... Um. You like Would you it? like a meatball? Did you like it or no? Do you have meatballs in Australia? I didn't cook it, so. Yes, we do. I'm the, the meat chef. Canned spaghetti, that's all the people eat here. So tell me about yourself. I know you submitted a great video. Um, I love that you're Australian. I feel like I already did tell you about myself. I don't, why don't I ask <coughs> you a couple of questions? You want to ask me Good. some questions? I did. I did. I well, I was gonna ask you why you called Nerf, Nerf, but I'm thinking maybe we move on to something a little happier. No, that's all right. Um, so Nerf's original owner was a crackhead. He was a, a drug dealer, and he used to get high in his own supply. And he was my neighbor in Miami when I lived in Miami. And he ended up getting real fucked up. He took all his clothes off, stripped down naked, and went crazy. He ran around on the streets naked and got arrested and ended up going away to jail for two years. And in that time, I took Nerf in, so his name was already Nerf. Oh, I yeah. like that. And then I, I just kept, I kept it Nerf. I was going to change it to Frank or something like that, but... No, Nerf is way cooler. Yeah. Good. Do you have any pets? No, I have wild parents. No, no animals allowed. We have a goldfish. You live with your parents? At the moment, yes, while I'm studying. We have a wine key. Is that common is that and, a red flag? no 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 it's it's not at all you can't Australia, i don't man. think you could have any red flags um i'll oh, stop it you gotta get me off that pedestal in your head i'm gonna disappoint you greatly yeah why is there something like are you a catfish is this ai <laughs> <laughs> you no, never know these days you never no. know i'm still human you know i can make mistakes yeah it's funny how they saved you for the end you know yeah, I'm a little pissed about that. I'm not going to lie. I woke up at 5.30 to get ready for this. And now oh, I'm coming on at Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Verica. <laughs> what time is it for you? <laughs> what time is it for you right now? Uh, 9.20 over here. A A.M.? P.M.? A.M. Mm. So, you're, like so it's a whole other day for you. Yeah, they're in Australia. Yeah. They get like a whole I'm extra day. I'm ready after tomorrow. And Verica, that, would you be willing to... Uh, that concerns me a little bit. Can is I butt in, I, please? No, you can't. Um, not Sorry, for this one. What year is it? So, you obviously live on the other side of the planet, you know? Hmm. I have a career I'm that... I'm ready to hop on a red eye tonight. Let's go. Yeah, you'll hop on a red eye tonight, but you, you'll be going back that. on it because <coughs> it's hard to leave Australia. I know, a lot of, I know a lot of Australians, and they love where they come from, their culture. You know, the rest of the world very different. And I don't know if you're prepared to... To move, especially if you have, you, are you in school? You said you're in school? I am, but I'm an external student because I wanted to be able to have a job while I studied. So I do all of my learning online. So you can move here. Oh yeah. I was gonna ask Verica, Verica's would you be- It's kind of a scary place, but Jeff, if I stay with you, I think we'll be all good. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. No, Bear, that's... Uh, can I butt in, please? Show's over. Berka, would you be willing to mig to immigrate to um, Los Angeles or America? In a heartbeat. I don't. I thought that my application was a little bit too much of like a job pitch, you know. But I Australia is a beautiful place. Don't get me wrong. But I was always planning to leave the minute I got my degree. So. Oh really? Yeah. You were planning on <laughs> coming out here anyway. Not to America. No, my original plan was to go teach English in China for a year, and then. I wanted to settle somewhere doing global PR for a multinational, oh, but now I'm ready to be business manager, babe, so wife. Jeff? Let's level up Jeff FM. Let's level up Jeff's barbershop. I'm ready. Do you want to have kids someday? No, right now. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm not, it doesn't have to be right now, but like eventually <laughs> it just is the door um, open. Yes. I want to make sure that I get all the stuff I want to do out of my life first. I think one of my favorite things about you is you're not even 35 and you've lived like a hundred lives already. There is you so like that about me? It doesn't, it's not like I'm ran through. That's like it's it's ran not, through. There is so much, you're there's so much to learn from. And I think that's like the only thing I look for in a relationship. So no, yeah, I, I definitely got a lot of stories to tell you. Yeah, it makes you one of the most interesting people. Tell me about those tattoos. <laughs> I know you guys pulled me out. I was holding the microphone. That's why I had to show it. But um, I don't know, just a little bit. The kind of a butterfly. This one's my favorite one. Nice. I got this to commemorate my brother. It's the gems from Crash Bandicoot. It's a little video game we played growing up. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I used to play that when I was a kid. Really? That was yeah. my favorite game. Get out of Crash my Bandicoot. fucking. Get out oh, of my shit. camera. Did, 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 did. Sorry. She can't see me. <laughs> Let me see my I think it's too wet. Is this a real rose? So, oh. you like that I've lived a lot of lives. Yes, I think you're an interesting person. What about you? How was your upbringing? Your life? <laughs> um, Family? I, mean, we had an I had an immigrant mother. She's a bit of a little hel helicopter mom. From where? She's from Macedonia. Macedonia and Serbia. Yeah, okay. It's a pretty strict, pretty strict upbringing, but I think that she's the reason that I am the woman I am today. And I'm, I'm happy for that. I'm proud of that. I grew up being like, if I end up like my mom, I'm genuinely, oh no, it's not going to be good. But now that I'm... Like, <coughs> Jeff, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Sorry to interrupt. I'll be back. Please run to the bathroom. Please leave us. <laughs> if I can be like half the woman my mom is, then yeah, I've made it, you know? So... Yeah, same. I was like that when I was a kid. I was like, I want to be as far away from my parents as possible. But then I realized I'm, I'm the same as them. I'm turning into them slowly. It's a little scary, but... It's not such a bad thing. I don't know. Yeah. So you have a single mother? No, 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 no. My mom and dad are like the quintessential trad relationship. They're still, they're still together? Mm -hmm. They met, they got engaged within two months, and now they're celebrating 28 years together. Wow. They got I engaged know. within two months. I know. And you guys are like, does she move all the way across the world? And move <laughs> all the way? Do you guys look alike? Me and my mom. I'm excited. I haven't played so, but a lot of my features, we don't know where they come from. So I think more like my grandma. I'm giving myself yeah. what I need. Why? So, Why? You're, right. so, you, <laughs> so your grandma's hot. I I don't know, she passed away you when my mom was talking, she thinks that I've got most of her. Out. Out. I can't so. even hear with all these sound bites going on. Saying? I can't even hear your response. Oh, uh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, one sec. Oh, I think... Ethan! I think they that know that this is... Zach, mute his mic. This mute one's mic. going Quick. so good that they're trying to what? sabotage to make the show entertaining. Mute his mic! Look, you, gonna do our thing. you and I are here to find love. They're here to make an entertaining show for their audience. Yes. Fair. Let's be honest. You know? Although, although you're bringing in all these other girls, you know. I can biff small nostrils. I can't biff Sarah. She will knock me out. In, Who in was small hospital. nostrils? Which one was small nostrils again? I don't even remember. A gorgeous girl from LA. I forgot all the other ones. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's disrespectful. They're all so sweet. It's tough. It's really hard. Like, I'm trying to do it in like a like a silly way, but it is really hard. You know? But you're making it easier to uh, decide. Oh, 
<coughs> Stop with you. I knew it was game over when you said you finished <sighs> Candy Night. Even my brother was like, this guy's your guy. I'm like, I know. When I said, when sorry, when I said what? You binged candy at night. Oh. My little candy cocktail here made from my sweet treat drawer. Well, I've never even seen candy like that before because you're on the other side of the world. Really? We've got crispy M&M's. We have M&M's, little... M&Ms but all those, all those other things, those look like some sour? Australian treats. It's all right. I'll bring you some. I'll bring you a whole suitcase full. I've never even seen a kangaroo. You should come to Australia then. I've already planned our whole date night. All right, I'll come and out then. there. I'll come out there. I would have love you seen to. Spooky Island. Have I seen what? Scooby Doo, Spooky Island. When you were growing up. I used to like Scooby Doo. Yeah, when I was really young, that was like oh, the only. Too. The iconic movie. How have you not seen that? That was no, I didn't see that. I, I was probably in jail by then, but. Um, I'll watch it with you. You can Sound hear all amazing. that. What is your favorite? What's your favorite movie? Of He's all locked time? In. Yeah. Doesn't have to be number one. Like something you could think of after later could top it. But like off the top quick. Everything everywhere all at once would be in my top oh, three. Oh, so a recent one. All right. That was pretty good. Let's go. Let's go one? music. Do you like music? Second Godfather would be an old one. Music, I love music. I was a music and music extension student in high school. My best friend's a musician, so. What's your favorite album of all time? Album, shit. Okay, Computer by Radiohead. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Honestly, I'm really visiting Leonard Cohen at the moment, and he might take the cake. But also, I just came out of a Dean Blunt phase, and he's also amazing too. I listen to everything. Yeah, yeah, me too. My favorite album of all time is actually Get Rich or Die Trying by 50 Cent. I remember I, I remember clear as day when I got that burn. It was a bootleg CD that I got, and I bought it off this black kid that I was on the bus with. He was a senior. I was a, a freshman. So I thought I was getting ripped off because it was all, it was like, he wrote on the, on the CD, like the names of the songs, and it was in a red marker because he was a blood. So he was like oh. laughing as the bus took off. He was like laughing at me. He's like, ha ha, got your ass. But th it was on there. He was just fucking with me. And then I went okay. home and I played that album. I had a boom box in my room and my mom was pissed that. at me. Mom, get, the, get out of my shot. Sorry. This is. Still have it? This is a clippable moment for TikTok. This, sorry, this sorry, love sorry. story. Oh, you're right. We're going to show this to our grandkids. Um, so yeah, my mom was mad at me and I put on. In the club by 50 oh, Cent, camera? obviously. Sorry, I'm just so many things going on distracting me. Wait, what? I, just, I, was I already feel like I'm not. I was like 14 years old, and I'm just blasting. You can find me in the club. And my mom was so pissed. She was like, Jeffrey, turn that shit off. That was my that was my uh, story about my favorite album. Sorry, my, I told you the reservoirs dried up. I'm just <laughs> keeping it real. Can I ask some questions? Please do. What's your favorite movie? Well, give me your favorite A24 movie. I was very happy when you said that you liked A24. Uh, my favorite A24 movie is Good Time. <gasps> no way. No happen? way. I don't believe this. Which one? No way. She, no way everything's the same. What, is, what was your... Not Good Time. Same, but with Robert Pattinson, the Safdie I brothers. Should've, I should have guessed it. Good Time. I'm having an audio... Mentally handicapped. I, bu I button. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I got you. Uh, that's why I don't do live shows. <laughs> oh my God, I got you. I got you. Buddy. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Peek behind the scenes there. So he's a brother that's <laughs> mentally handicapped. That's good shit, right? And and yeah. <laughs> I have a, a basically a brother. A crane fucking smash. That's a little fucking, you know. And it's, it, I just relate to it so much because the whole time he's trying to get his brother out of jail because he's mentally handicapped and he knows shit's going to happen to him. And like he gets his brother to do the, the heist with him. And his brother's like, yo, let's, I don't want to fucking do this shit. And then he mm. just, you know, it, I just relate to it a lot with sounds me. Like and, a, um, my relationship with Cody, it's like us in that movie. Sounds like a, a, of, an, of Mice and Men type of thing. 
Sorry, Ethan. I'm just a little busy right now. <laughs> it's not your fault. The lady is speaking. Verka, how was that? But how was it to be a part of a button moment for you? Oh, it was fabulous. But I'm I'm on a date right now. Sorry, Ethan. I would like oh, to break my. Sorry, <laughs> Ethan. Excuse yeah. me. I literally rewatched Good Time last week. No joke. Spoke to my brother, and I was like, the entire time, I'm just thinking respectfully. All I could think of was you. You like <laughs> made me. <laughs> You're like a perfect. He's the worst, <laughs> most scumbag guy. No, he but it's not. It's the devotion and the loyalty to get his brother know, out. Yeah. Out but the things he did, I think he had sex with like a 16 year old girl to like yeah, distract that was people. A little, and that to was be a clear, you have You've not done that. that. I have not done that. Good. Absolutely yeah, not. His girlfriend was a mature age woman, so we loved that. You know? True. Just not yeah. the one. Okay. But yeah. we didn't love this. But he was also manipulating her to get her credit card to bail out her. Well, you listen, you very gotta, uh, as uh, as you guys up. recount the plot of your favorite movies, I will um, step in here as we have uh, one more contestant and we are. I There's actually Pocket. people here waiting for a meeting. You wrap oh, it up? I'm sorry. I been to waiting. Apply. I didn't even ask about UFC. Do you have a favorite fight? <laughs> All right, come on, Verica. You, you, yeah. You guys can talk about your um. Two nine eight. I had to watch Volk lose. Give me this one, Ethan. Oh, Volk was one of my favorite fights. Him versus uh, uh, um, Ortega. When he. Oh yes, the round three. Burned come my on, brain. you guys. Yeah, when he was in those submissions, and it was like it's over, it's oh, over. And, the and then he would time. pop his head out. Are you gonna fire extinguish me right now? I don't. I'm fucking. I'm... It's gonna go everywhere. I've sprayed these things before. They go everywhere. Well, it's not funny if you if you announce it. All right. So, uh, so what's your favorite thing? <laughs> it goes everywhere. It's I just a little it. toot. It goes everywhere. We gotta wrap it up, Verica. She's lovely, I know, but. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, how did it not get out of the plane? Wait, we have the fucking fires, the only thing still up. Some of that fucking thing that is. Sorry, Verica. All right. But Verica, let me put it down. I'm pretty sure that you guys will have an, op an opportunity to uh, speak again soon. Yeah. Listen. That's good, because I get really oh, shy. Oh, shit. The That's a, I can taste you gotta give it. Me a long I can taste it. That's what I was saying. It's going to be a problem. I can. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, man. I need a towel to like cover my mouth. You need a towel, Jeff? Yeah, I'm already on it. Wait, what, why is this all nasty? Is it dirty? Oh, shit. All right, Verica, listen. Ah. I know, I know this didn't, I know this didn't end how we expected it to, but this is what you're signing up for. <laughs> this is the type of stuff oh. that happens in my life. A paper I'm towel. I'm here for the ride, baby. Don't you worry. Yeah, but you're great, and you're coming to Hollywood. Thank you, Jeff. I'm, one more question. Is that okay? Yeah. Will you accept my rose? Absolutely. Oh, she's giving out the roses. I would love to, Thank yeah, you. but Excuse I don't think that's me. how the show works, but Send fuck the rules. The fuck the rules and integrity of this show. We've got a marriage to put into the works. We've got a family to start. That's Verica, right. Verica, when are you available to move out here full time? Just a question. I'm not joking. Literally tomorrow. My manager's already aware of all this. She's rooting for me. She's like, can I come visit you in LA? I'm like, yes, Wow. Please. How tall are I'm you? I'm ready. Just like a gauge, like a... How tall are I'm you? 168 centimeters tall. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa, what the fuck is that? And I gotta, I gotta wrap it up. Verica, right, you're, you're, you're terrific. You're, you're everything we... Thank you. Can somebody you're everything do the, <laughs> we thought you'd be in more, right? Yeah. Can somebody do the math on that? 5'5"? Five, five? That's good height. All right, we've got one more, and I have to do it in like five minutes max. Is there really one more? There's yeah. six people waiting for me for a meeting. Yeah, there's one more. There's just one more. What's the meeting about? I don't want to talk about it. Business. Another Bachelor Business. series? Bi no. Business. All right, bring her on. It's Jess from Greensville, South Carolina, 29 <laughs> years old. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe Lena can show them around or something, and if they don't have to sit there. I don't know. They probably would like to see the buildings and stuff. Looks like a bunch Good of idea, bad right? dudes out here. Another part where they can actually you. breathe. Yeah, why don't you show them around? Okay, I got it. We we'll just need yeah. like ten minutes. For sure, take your time. Looks like a bunch of bad dudes out there waiting for you. <laughs> no, they're good dudes. You're gonna get whacked. 
They're not the you, kind of people. You're gonna walk you behind that. You're gonna get fucking shot right in the back of the head. Dude, look at the ground. Yeah. Whose idea was that? Now look at me going on this date. All right, bring out Jess from Greensville. Jess. Yes. She's an engineer, and she's 29. You know what? I'm gonna inhale these toxic fumes for you. It's better now. Yeah. It, it, no, it's not. <coughs> it's not. Do we have a fan or something I can hit him with? Have you been watching the show? Are you? Are you have you been watching? Yeah. yeah, I've been watching the whole show. Yeah. Okay, so you've seen what happened here. Yeah, I saw the. <laughs> Ab's now windexing <laughs> your face, so I could see you clearly. Thank you. Yeah, you look great. We're... Thank you. You look great. Thank you. So where are you from again? Sorry, there's, there's a lot of distractions. I, I I live in South Carolina. South Carolina. Wow. Look at that. I'm from Florida, though. That's disgusting. I'll take it. It's perfect. You ever seen a pasta like that, huh? <laughs> so, what are some of, what are some things you like to do for fun? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to get the hair. I'm just trying to get the dust out of your face. It works. Look at that. Look at that. Um, I feel like you're not getting the proper respect that you deserve. Not but uh, <laughs> what do I do for fun? What's the blow dryer? Yeah, what do you like to do? Yeah, fitness is, is huge for me because I work a lot. Give me a flex. Then, you look like you're in good shape. Wow, damn. What do you do? Yeah, so Pil is that I Pilates? Do, no, it's powerlifting and uh, and jujitsu. You so, do jujitsu? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know, I was watching a Jeff FM, and I think you said you do jiu-jitsu. We have that in common? Yeah, yeah. I just did an MMA fight last weekend. Oh. Yeah, I got my ass whooped. I fought a 5-0 pro. And wow. Oh, that's good. Just like I mean, a spar. We did a spar, but it was like, there'll be a video out legit? about it tomorrow. It was a legit fight? Like, yeah, I forgot about leg kicks. He was blasting me in the leg. and then. Yeah, did you, how many rounds did you go? Three. That's yeah, that's tough. It's it's crazy. You okay? <laughs> I didn't quit, but I wanted to. It was okay. like it's it's really tough. Yeah, we at the end of it we were banging and fighting. That's that's pretty sick. I I don't think I have the balls. I I did like I do Muay Thai a little bit because one of the gyms I go to for Jiu Jitsu has Muay Thai. Uh, I sparred for the first time two weeks ago, and it was like I almost. I, I felt like I was dying. Well, you uh, wouldn't want to mess up your pretty face. Mine's already right. all screwed up, so it's like whatever, you know? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the person I was sparring with was really nice, but I had <laughs> bruises all over my legs and stuff that still haven't healed, so uh, I respect that. Good for you. How'd you get into that stuff? Are you thirsty by chance? Gamer subs? Yeah, I'll take some. You want some Sigma Brain? I got you, bro. Uh, oh, my God. This is a bumper. He's gonna bump it. Oh, 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 oh what, what? It's a like candy. It is, and it's sweeter than you. Oh, that's nice. I love how sweet that shit is. Oh, you got um, fire extinguisher. How did I get into it? Sorry I about think that. Pretty... You need a new drink? Go ahead. Sorry. I'm good. Yeah, are you <laughs> okay? I think you just inhaled that. No, I did purposely tasted okay. some of that. But um, go on. What were you saying? Um, how did I get into jujitsu? Uh, honestly, I, I needed a hobby because I was a dancer and being a hobbyist okay. dancer isn't really a thing. So I needed something else to do and I knew I wanted to do martial arts. So I started training jujitsu like five years ago and I don't know, I love it. And so I, you've been honestly, doing, like, you've been doing jujitsu for five years? Shit. Fuck. Are you going to throw yeah, that yeah, hot coffee in my no, face? No, no, no. no, no. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was gonna drink that. I'll drink that. You gonna do the black coffee thing again? <laughs> I like my coffee. Yeah, give me some milk. You want cream give this me time? Some cream. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Here I go. Um, yeah, give me a little cream. <laughs> I like my coffee. Like I like my women. Don't, don't stop. A little bit white. A cream, cream fucking stuff. smashed him right in his head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go uh, ahead. I'm sorry. I'll bat, right. I'll butt out. So, what belt are you? Oh, um, I got my blue belt two years ago. So. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, I've been a blue belt for a while. <laughs> so you would fuck me up, basically. 
I love no, that. No, never. I'm very nice when I roll. No, I'm, and I'm very defensive. So no, but you could you, you could submit me. You try to fuck me up, but yeah, you probably no, <laughs> but that's, no, I'm very I'm very nice when I roll. My sister submitted me. She's oh, yeah? she's a purple she belt. You? Yeah, she got me in a triangle. Do you yeah, want a glass I love triangle. Uh, the glass would be very nice. Yeah, as long as there's no more fire extinguishers coming. No, out. no more. You shake this up on me? Shit. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> when did the pranks end? No, it was just a little. It was just a little carbonated. Just a little bit. I like my soda. Like I like my women. <laughs> Stop. Shaking up, traumatized, squirting all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Ready to explode. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, <coughs> I'm so sorry, Jess. This has not been a fair. Um, Jess, you will get another great. opportunity because you are coming out to Hollywood. You hey, are for yeah. sure. And I want to do man versus woman jujitsu. I would like to roll I with you. I would love to. And I think that'd be That's great. That's what I do. <laughs> we could get some mats set up in the studio here. That'd be so fun. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, and it'll be like, it'll probably be like kind of, I, no, I don't want to make it like that. No, say it. No, make it like that. Let's do it. We'll make huh. it like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be cool. a v very uh, respectful role. Do you understand Always. what we're talking about, Ethan? You guys are talking about MMA, right? No, we're talking about grappling. Jiu Jitsu. Oh, yeah. Grappling? So that's, uh, I'm asking if you could set up mats here in the studio. Absolutely. We and have a whole, we and have a have whole. Us, we're on the ground yeah. in mount, like in basically sexual position. That's why everybody calls Jiu Jitsu gay. Yeah. Because it's just like man on man, like of a, like one of the moves I did last week. It's like I'm you get a sixty nine a guy <laughs> right. to move his legs out of the way, and then you like catch him in a in a choke. Sixty nine. But us doing it together, I think it'll be great for the show, and also a lot of it'll be I fun would for absolutely us. Absolutely, set that up. We had a full boxing ring in here. I'll I'll bring it all out again, the mat and everything. All right, you're coming out. You win. Nice, yay. Can't yeah. wait to roll with you. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm a little scared. How tall are you? Oh, I'm short, five three. Oh, you're oh, five wow. three. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'll body yeah, slam I'm, you. I'm, I'm <laughs> tiny. Like I'm, I'm 15, so I, I don't, I don't meet my match much. In how? Weight. How old are you? I'm 29. 29. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. This is great. You win. You're in the top five. I'm that's, honored. Thank that's. You. That's all I could say right now. Otherwise, I'm going to get sprayed in the face with a fire extinguisher. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Um, all right. So I think now I have to narrow down. I have to do something very tough we're right gonna, now. Really, really tough. Really I, tough. I have to narrow down a lot of women, but you will not be cut. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Jess, is there anything Come you want to say before we um, say bye-bye and ta-ta? No, I mean, I appreciate it. I appreciate your your kind words watching my video. And I don't know, talking to me now, this is great. This well, is you are nice tremendous. Too. You are um, wonderful. She is. And we're all very excited that you uh, gave us your time. Belt. And called in last, Pete, by Pete's sake. Uh, thank you for waiting patiently. Yeah. No, the show was great. I had a great time. I was laughing the whole time. So all the yeah, other yeah, women yeah. are very nice. They're great. I know. They're all so great. They're, yeah, every they're single one of them is great. She's they're terrific, yeah, okay. though. She, they're all terrific. I mean, wow, we have some amazing ladies in the audience. And it's just going to get harder and harder. <sighs> all right. I got some work to do. <laughs> Jess, thank you so much for calling. Uh, we, you will hear from us soon. And uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you. And it was great meeting you. Sounds like someone gra is grappling with Jeff's heart. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is gonna be fucking hell. All right, so here are they. Are they waiting? Or this is Lena still? Just they just came back up, I believe. Oh shit! What should we do about it? Should we maybe make a decision and announce the decision on Wednesday? So that we have more time to think about it. I'm ready now. I'm ready. Oh, bring it up! Bring it up! Bring it up! <coughs> I can't see it. <clears throat> um, hold on one sec. Sorry, my preview monitor is all wacky. Da wacky woo wah. I don't know what that means. What do I open? No, it's not open. Yeah. What? What screen? Oh, there it is. Okay, great. Um, Fuck. You... Okay, so let's start from the top. Our first <laughs> one 
uh, was Gabby. That was the first one, and she's terrific. She was terrific. It was the first one, which I think gave it some... A little more awkward energy than... Is she lady. small nostrils? I don't remember the size of her nostrils. I think that's small nostrils, right? I th Are you I talking about the girl who lives in L.A.? She's from Detroit, and she's a fashion content creator. That's Gabby. Oh, no, that might be Megan. I think, yeah, you're thinking that's Megan. That's small nostrils. <clears throat> Do we, we like little nostrils, right? I like Gabby, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Gabby's <laughs> okay, a... Okay, but... Just remember, <clears throat> we're going to have to move some stuff around. So let's say Gabby... You know what? Maybe it just makes more sense. Jeff, why don't you just start... Who are your shoe wins? Who do you like? I like Verica... Okay, I like, uh, you like Verica. Okay, we're going to go on. ahead Verica? and give Verica the first poll. Yeah. Okay. Who else do you like? I like Morgan. Okay. Bow, bow, bow. Morgan. Bow, bow, bow. She's Absolutely. great. Yo, yippee. Um, Oops. Come on. Tan, what is this PDF? Or this Aunt BNG? What is this BNG? <laughs> I don't know what you're <laughs> asking me. Uh, who else do you like? Who else, any other shoe ins? I like Taylor. You like Taylor? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor was great. Yeah. yeah, she was great. And she diagnosed you. That shit was dope. I yeah. love that about her. I need more of that. Okay. You have two more polls. I like... Uh, Megan and Gabby look very similar. Megan... Wait, hold on. Megan's the girl in LA that you had... Megan's the girl in LA. She had a you said you were gonna date her right away. Yeah, you were in love. You said the show's over. Yeah. Okay, she's got to get a poll. Twenty-three uh, from Detroit. She makes fashion content. That was Gabby. By the way, all right, give her my hey, poll. Hey, give her, hey, give hey, it to her. Give it to her. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, Rapid. hold on. Who are we, uh, Megan? Is that what you're talking about? <clears throat> give Megan my poll. Okay. You have Megan's one poll left. Poll. Okay, so there's one left. There's Jess. That was the girl you're just talking to. I thought Jess, you guys. Oh fuck! That That's you. Jess, the one yeah. I just told. One hundred percent, she's in. But I thought you guys had great rapport. She seemed lovely. But Gabby is wonderful. Rochelle was mm -hmm. really wonderful. Miranda was great. They're all so great. I mean, you, you also Sky. called Gabby. <laughs> what did I say? Rochelle. I mean, well, that's kind of like a fancy way. That's of saying how the that, fuck so. they would say it on Bachelor. Sure, Rochelle. Rachel, like, Rachel. Rachel was great. She just the New York accent is a little bit of a turn off for me because it's mm. so close. It's like what I grew up with them. I've experienced my whole life. Yeah, it's like incest. I feel like okay. she's my cousin. Um, <laughs> so basically Miranda was great argument. too, man. Miranda's argument? fucking personality. She was like perfect for me. Yeah, you know? she was great. She was great. Sky was really, really, really. Ashley's awesome. great. You still got the old tan on there though. So it's a bad look. That's what's making <laughs> that her not get a pole because you have the old, <laughs> you, have, you have the old uh, ISO settings. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so exactly. So you've got one poll for Morgan, one poll for Verica, one poll for Megan. You got one poll for Taylor. You have one poll left. Jess, you want to narrow it down? Maybe the top two. Which ones are you liking? There's Miranda. Uh, Gabby was great too. Right off the bat, I gave her a poll. One. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, in fact, Gabby's probably calling off work poll. already. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think maybe because she was first that you've won? Lost a sense for how great your connection was. Maybe it's maybe it's disadvantaging. I was off then too. I was like just getting warmed up. Yeah, definitely. I want another shot with Gabby. So Jess, the girl you just spoke to, just to be clear. Can we do six poles? We can only do five, five poles. You can move poles That's around. That's the game. That's what makes it hard. This is the drama. Uh, look, look, he's crying. It's love. I mean. That's you the can, game. You, you got a one girl. People wanted to do three. I said no. We do five for Jess. Let's see what the chat's saying. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Jess. I'm seeing a few Sky. I'm seeing a lot of Jess. I think Sky, I it, fucking forgot about. Yeah, Sky was great. Yeah, you had tattoos great going. Oh, she's she's going, going to hell though because yeah. the tattoos. Um, okay, put one, put the poll on. Yeah. Let me see how the poll looks on Gabby. <laughs> Let's just see how that looks. There is only one okay. key to open the device. She looks cute with that poll. So Gabby gets it, the last poll. Zoom out. Is there any other polls you want to move around or this is it? There is only one. Fuck, man, fuck. I hate that I have to do this, but I got to move Megan's poll to Jess. 
Megan's. Megan. Oh, okay. Megan's pull to Jess. Oh, wait. Which, sorry, I'm the trying LA to find what layer it is. Please. Dude, what friggin' B and G are yeah, you yeah. on, dude? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making fun. I'm saying B and G. Oh, I think okay. If I hold control, it'll select that layer. Okay. Okay. Any other changes? This is the the last chance here. There any other shifts? Left. Should I move that fucking Megan's Megan's? Let me see too. the the. But what did, what was the problem with Megan? She wants to be. Uh, did she say she just wants to be famous? What did, she did that threw me off. Yeah, she said, I just want to be rich. And I famous. believe that. Was that a joke? Maybe I don't know. But that, I don't that, believe that was her. Who was it that said that? I think that was Gabby. I I would double check. Oh, it was Gabby. It was Gabby. I think. That what threw me off a bit. I didn't know what she meant by that. Well, you can find out on a second date, you know. So who are you? Who are you oscillating between now? There's Megan only one. And Gabby, or what? The one. Let the, the chat one. pick. Let the chat pick. Okay. Mm. I, I will say, if you if you do put a poll back on Megan, this will always be brought up for the rest of your lives. If you do find love. Yeah, the one saying. and only. Wait, huh? what? Why? Because he moved the poll. <laughs> She'll always bring it up. Maybe so you moved the you oh, took your pole you back. <laughs> That's what I think too. If you throw it to chat, both these girls are gonna be scorned. Alright, fuck it. It's done. It's done. Throw Gabby. We're locking it in. Throw the towel. Well there it is. Congratulations. Congratulations. You know what? This, this is so exciting, Jeff. I'm truly excited for you. I, when I signed up for this shit, I was like, it's gonna be a fucking goof. It's gonna be a it's big joke. But it's real. This is real. These are wonderful connections. The lovely ladies. Thank you to all ten of you guys. I cannot thank y'all enough for spending your time, putting it's yourself out on the line. Me, we love the terrific women of the of the H three family, and um, this is Jeff Whittock, the most eligible man alive. Megan, DM me tonight. I'll no, let's just keep a little more shot. We gotta we gotta make okay. a move fast because I I feel that you know we gotta keep the flames. Burning. Okay. So what are we doing next week or two weeks again? I'm gonna have to talk with the team, but I think it's time to fly some people out, don't you guys think? Yeah, uh, so it probably uh, will have to be at least in a couple weeks just because of coordinating all of these cool. lights and everything. So um, I need some time to gather all these yeah. emotions what we'll do, right now. We could probably stagger them though, because like... I think that would probably be smart. We can send you on a date with a camera, plan a really fun, cool day, right? And just see how it goes. Okay. And maybe we can do one a week. Or I don't know if that's too slow. You want to do two a week? Okay. Uh, it's your show. You know, I'm we'll just... figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. But we'll, this we'll, is we'll... real. This is the real deal, people. God damn it! This is a great show, isn't it's it? It's still real. To as me, much man. as you tried to fuck it up today, I was on your team, bro. Yeah, no, I know. It's all know. riding for you, man. I had so many meatballs though. They were good. Did you like it? Did you like the meatball or no? They didn't eat like Tony Soprano. I I'm faked it. Chef. I was playing with it. I'm a pro. You guys really were conflicting over the Tony. Did you ever get intel on this Tony Soprano eating controversy, Dan? Uh, Doesn't matter. I she did, got, she... and unfortunately, she was incorrect about that little factoid. That's why she's uh, done. I, 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 I think I, I, like I think she just got the story a little confused because there is a story about him eating. It's that he didn't eat at all on the show. He like refused, and you would see on the show. And I remember this actually. He would always be toying with his food. Yeah. With his fork. It's because he didn't want to do the spit bucket shit. That's what you said. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you know. So the inverse. So just kind of the opposite yeah. of what she said. Yeah. So kind of the exact. There, there was not a food right. story. Okay. There was a there food was a story, food story <laughs> involved. I think she might have just got a wire across there. Anyway, thank the you guys. Action. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Um, thank you guys. Thank you for putting this together for me. Go on. I really appreciate it. You guys have the best crew. Out of any YouTube podcast crew, you guys are by far the best. Well, thank you. I mean you. that. Thank you. Thank you no bro. hate to your crew, though. I have a smaller crew. It's a, it's you know, it's you guys are like the U.S. military, and we're like Canada or something. You know, sure. Our little <laughs> brother. We don't have as much. Yeah. Friendly but we're neighbor. building. Yeah. You know. Thank you, thank you, Jeff. I look forward to the next chapter. It is going to be so much fun. And thank you again to all the ladies. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Wednesday. I'll see members tomorrow. See you next Thursday. And I'll see everybody on Friday. Um, and uh, so, have a great evening. And uh, God, God 
bless.